Headmistress at the Waverly Academy for Girls has asked me, begged me actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for students there and causing the strange accidents that always follow them. So malicious was the last accident, the parents of its victim are threatening to sue the school if the perpetrator isn't identified. Fast. And so, pretending to be a transfer student named Becca Sawyer, I'm Becca going to go Sawyer. undercover at the upstate New York boarding school and hopefully find the culprit. I have to use a fake name instead of my real one because if any of my soon-to-be classmates plug the name Nancy Drew into an online search engine, <laughs> my cover would be blown in an instant. And to make sure no one sees or hears anything that could give me away, the headmistress has forbidden me to contact her, which means I'm about to be tossed totally on my own into a world of bright, privileged, click-conscious teenage girls. This could be my scariest case yet. Yes. Fun fact, Mr. Woogle Woggle was designed by creative director Tim Burke's real-life childhood teddy bear named Teddy. He brought it into the office to model, I think. No way. That's such a cool fact. Ah, oh, that's amazing. All right. Well, let's head on and... Oh, Junior, all day, every day. Two weeks ago. Ugh, I would hate to be locked inside a closet all night long. I hate small spaces. Hey, you're the new person. Uh, Becca something. Becca Sawyer. I'm Corrine, the person who stuck rooming with you. I mean, you're the person who stuck rooming with me. Anyway, welcome to my, your, uh, our humble dwelling space. <laughs> you don't mind having a roommate? You don't mind having a roommate? Not at all. The roommate I used to have, Danielle, she and I got along great. What happened to her? What happened to her? She had kind of a bad experience. Got locked in a pitch black closet overnight. See, she was claustrophobic. So when they found her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that afternoon, she just left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. I should probably tell you. Some of the kids on this floor have been getting these, like, threatening notes from someone calling herself the Black Cat. Well, the first note's a warning, but if you get a second one, something really bad happens to you. And last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note, and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to and had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Somebody's obviously playing a prank, but a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. <laughs> anyway, now that you're here, first thing you gotta do is read the Waverly Student Guide, which is online. If you don't have a laptop, it doesn't look like you do. That one little bag is all you brought? Uh, all my stuff's being shipped from France. Leon, it'll be here in a couple of days. <laughs> but please, go on. Anyway, you can get online by jumping on the computer in the library. Just make sure you read the part in the guide about Waverly's demerit system really well. It's enforced by Paige. Believe me, you do not want to mess with her. Let's see, what else? Oh, yeah. This floor is special because only seniors who are viable candidates for valedictorian live up here. Whoever's named valedictorian gets a full ride scholarship to the university of her choice, so it's a pretty big deal. Of course, the only truly viable candidate is me. Wait a minute. You mean the only girls to get notes from this black cat person are girls who are in the running to be valedictorian? I hadn't really thought of it that way, but yeah. Hmm, that's, that's suspicious. Right. Maybe somebody's jealous of us smart kids or something, or maybe it's one of us. Maybe someone's trying to scare off her competition. Whatever. It's not going to work on me. Ooh, okay. What are you working on? Have you ever gotten black cat notes? Where's where's the cello music coming from? Yeah. Where's that cello music coming from? Next door. That's Mel Corbelis. Has she ever gotten a black cat Has note? Has she gotten a black cat note? I'm not sure. Her roommate did, though. She's the one who got so sick she had to go home. Have you ever gotten one? Have you ever gotten one of these black cat notes? Yeah, I got one about three days ago. No kidding, may I see it? No kidding, may I see it? Sorry, I took one look at it and tore it up. But if you'd like to see the note my ex-roommate got, that one's right here. 
When she got this, how did she react? She tried to laugh it off, but I think she was scared. She was pretty neurotic. What about the second note? There wasn't a second note. Or at least, if there was, she never said anything about it to me. Hmm. What are you working on? You look so busy. Busy? That's the understatement of the year. I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated, utilizing a bibliography that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. Any normal student would hate having you bug them like this. But then, I'm not all that normal, so you can bug me all you want. Not that you're bugging me. Well, you are, technically, but you're not really, because I'm so... Never mind. Well, guess I'd better go start meeting people. Yeah, I guess you'd better. Terry! I'm not so bad, right? What do you mean? It's just that... Well, you're about to find out that I'm not exactly the most... <sighs> Never mind. You'll see soon enough. Terry, Emma, welcome! So glad to have you guys here. Yes, Mel is the best. Indie Crafts, hey! Jazz versus Jad, what's up? Okay. The first thing I feel like I always do is I set my phone and I'm like, I have to change the everything. <laughs> what should we change the background to? Icicle Creek. We fill in some castle vibes. Hmm. Oh, that's perfect. Definitely the cow. I absolutely love that. My roommates are going to love me. All right, let's start snooping around. Hey, thanks so much for the follow, Kate. Someone named Rachel wants me to come to her room. Rachel Hubbard. She's in the room at the end of the hall. Hello, Becca. Welcome to Waverly. Since you just transferred here and don't really have any papers due or exams to study for, unlike the rest of us, I can really use your help on this project. I'm working on... Oh, that I'm working on. Please come see me as soon as you can. My room's at the other end of the hall. Can you imagine just being there like you're, you're brand new and you're being told like, yeah, you don't have much to do, so maybe you can help me with all what we have to do. <laughs> oh, man. Bess and George. Gotta have them. Mr. Mingle says hi. <laughs> Whoa, watch it. Oh, your hair's on fire. No wonder you're in a hurry. My hair's on fire? Just wow. kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. <laughs> I'm Izzy Romero. I'm Becca Sawyer. I just transferred here. Where are you from? From the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. Chouette alors. Let me have your cell phone. My cell phone? Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take On a the local network. Okay. This way you'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. <laughs> I love, it's just the first five minutes and everything is so dramatic. Help, disappearing under a mound of laundry. Can I borrow some detergent? I'm here. Mel really is so awesome. Who are you? Uh, I'm Becca Sawyer. I just moved into the room next door. Oh yeah, you're the transfer. The one who got kicked out of some school in France? What? What? No, I didn't. Waverly's primary source of all wisdom and truth has been <laughs> suggesting otherwise. Hey, look, I don't really care, but you got to admit it's kind of weird to be changing schools in the middle of your senior year, and the fewer gory details you provide as to why, the more kids are going to talk. Or should I say, text? So I'm the source of rumors already? Welcome to Waverly. Where's your roommate? She's the one who was sent home because of an allergic reaction to something she ate after being cursed by the black cat. You sound a little skeptical. The black cat is just someone playing an idiotic prank. End of story. 
Of course, it's not the end of the story for my roommate Megan, who wound up having to go home sick with an allergic reaction that almost killed her. But it's still a stupid prank. What exactly happened to her? Do you have any idea who left these notes? Hmm. Did Megan have any idea who left her those notes? Look, enough about the black cat. The other girls can buy into that garbage all they want, but the pea brain that's behind this, I refuse to give her the satisfaction. So if you have questions for Megan, I think you should call her yourself. 845-555-1849. You play that cello pretty well. Thank you. I taught myself to play when I was 10. Do you play any other instruments? Yeah, the keyboard. As in synthesizer, not computer. Although I'm pretty good with computers, too. How well do you know the girl I'm rooming with, Corrine? Probably better than anybody. She doesn't have a lot of friends, but she's incredibly smart. Plus, she's a social outcast, too, so we get along pretty well. What makes you say she's a social outcast? She's so desperate for people to like her, she gets on everyone's nerves. Me? I don't much care if people like me or not, but Corrine? She cares a lot. And it shows. I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good. Read much followed by more. Wonder why it was spelled with two O's instead of one. Is this sampler as old as it looks? It's old, that's for sure. My great, great, great grandmother made it. She was in the first class of students to graduate from here. Everybody in my family who attends Waverly has to hang that thing in her room. It's tradition. Did your mother graduate from here? And her mother and her mother's mother ad infinitum. I come from a long line of Waverly grads. I'm what you call a legacy. I was admitted automatically. Hmm. Oh, look, there's the doll from Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Just modified a little bit to match Mill's room. Oh, and I never noticed there's creepy corner poster right there. I just noticed that. I think that's all we can look at in here. Yeah, I think that's it. Alrighty. Let's go to the bathroom. I love that they brought the bathroom back from Phantom of Venice and Icicle Creek because I always loved all of the sayings and the quotes that Nancy says when she goes to the bathroom. They're really funny. You can come in. You must be Becca Sawyer. Did you see my note? I did if you're Rachel Hubbard. That's me. And boy, am I glad you're here. See, I've got this web design project that's due by the end of the break. Only I've got two papers to write by then, too. Mm. So, since you're a transfer and you won't really have anything to do until classes start, I was hoping you could help me. But I don't even know you. I'm from Pittsburgh. <laughs> I'm here on a scholarship. I blew a recent AP Chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs, I hate cauliflower, my favorite subject's math, and I am desperate. Well, I guess I could help you, sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what you need to do first is take a picture of all the valedictorian candidates. Here are their names. You have a camera cell phone, right? Of course. Great. A camera cell phone. <laughs> After you've taken everybody's picture, get on the computer in the library and upload them according to the instructions on that sheet. I'll check the pictures once they're up. If I want you to take any of them over, I'll leave a note for you on the page. When you're done, report back to me, all right? I may need you to do something else. In the meantime, I'm about to be late for a meeting with my advisor, so if you could get started, that would be great. I really appreciate this, Becca. See you later, okay? Oh, and she's just like, we we're done. That was it. Oh, we got a text message. I'm being gossiped about already? That sure didn't take long. Newbie sighting in Val Can Hall. Becca Sawyer has landed. Sounds like a personal problem, Rachel. Absolutely, Kate Face. Like, I just got I just found where the bathroom was. Like, I don't even I don't know. What does it say? Thanks for the treats. I can make it for the weekend now. Go away, please. <laughs> mm -mm. Hey Liv, so glad to have you. You're listening on Twitch. There's no delay in chatting on YouTube. <laughs> Glad to have you. All right. Ah, the snack shop. The rec room is for the enjoyment of all students. Do not leave personal belongings in the room. 
Dispose of snack shop waste appropriately. All electronics are to be turned off when not in use. Cell phone use is not permitted in the rec room. Hmm. Yeah, there's my twin! You must be the girl who came all the way from France with just the clothes on her back? Becca something? Becca Sawyer. I'm Leela Yadav. Welcome to Waverly. How come you're not working on a paper or studying like everybody else? I'm working on two papers, actually, but they're both under control, so I'm taking a break. Playing the games in here keeps my reflexes sharp. People think I'm just saying that, but it's true. In fact, let's play air hockey. Come on, by helping me stay in shape, you'll be helping out your new school. You want to get off on the right foot here, don't you? Oh, yeah, no. I, I, I don't have time right now. I told Rachel Hubbard I'd help her with her web project. That's too bad. Too bad I can't play, or too bad I'm helping Rachel? Both, but mostly too bad you're being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. Why do you say that? She's got this bizarre schizoid thing going. She'll say something one day, then deny it the next, or she'll do something, then claim she didn't. She's actually kind of scary. You'll see. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. You heard about the black cat, right? Oh yeah, I heard. See, Rachel flunked a test a couple weeks ago, which means she can't be valedictorian. So maybe, in some twisted way, she thinks we're to blame and she's using this black cat stuff to freak us all out. Not that it's working. On me, at least. I've won state championships in both soccer and basketball. No way am I gonna let a couple of stupid notes get to me. Do you ever hang out with my roommate, Corrine? Not if I can help it. Why not? She's just a pain. She tries so hard to fit in that it turns people off. Most people, at least. Mel Corbelis and her are friends. No big surprise. After all, weirdos of a feather flock together. Because you're in the running for valedictorian, I need to get a close-up of you for the school website, if that's okay. No problem. Fire when ready. Sweet. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm so glad they added this I'm feature waiting. in the Nancy Drew games. This is fantastic. Is there a problem? Beautiful. Okay, no, but for real. Is there a problem? I think this is this is good. Kayla, thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. <laughs> Me too, Tori. I bugged you enough for now. That's all right. I'm kind of waiting for my boyfriend to call. He goes to Oxborough. That's the boys' school just down the road. Talking to you helped kill the time. I'll see ya. It makes it much more real, you know? Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything we can pick up or look at here. Oh, can this rec room quiet hours from 11 to 7. Press menu for stations. What time is it? Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. This is the room. And there's a key. I just like, this is just so tiny. This is way too tiny to be locked in there all night. Ooh. I don't know how you guys feel about small spaces, but that would just, I would not be able to do it. I would not be able to hang all night. Nancy Drew. Oh. Odyssey Championship. That's locked. This would be amazing if I knew how to play the piano. Chaz, I wish I had your skills right now. Actually, Chaz, have you been able to actually play the piano on this game? Like, you can actually, like, do a few keys and then make a sound? 
Oh, you can look at the, okay, you can look at the whole thing. Okay. I know you can look at these too. Yeah, they have the actual keys on them. Oh, okay. I'll see you later, Chaz. Thanks for hopping on. Yeah, you can also bang out a couple tunes. No way. I practiced it a lot as a kid. And you spend so much time clicking the tunes. No way. That's pretty cool, though, that you can just... You can... This is just a computer game, but you can still play it like it's a real piano. I can't leave yet. There are still too many strange things going on here. Oh, how bad I wish we could like explore more of the grounds of Waverly. Oh, that would be so fun. Hmm. Waverly Academy for Young Girls. The directors. Locked. Is this the key? Hmm. That's not the key. Looks um, like I need a key. Maybe this is the key. Oh, okay. Nice. I love when they have fan pictures in the games. That was always like a dream playing these games. I was like, oh, I wish my picture could show up in the game. Checked out by Leela. Hmm. Bonjour. Unfortunately, that and Chouette de Laura are all the French I know. Hey, my condolences on your roommate assignment. You know, it might not be too late to get it changed. You don't like Corinne either? Nobody likes Corinne. She must have some friends. Nope. Nobody who's worth being friends with, anyway. But look, don't worry. Everyone knows rooming with Corinne wasn't your idea. As long as you don't hang out with her, nobody's going to hold it against you. Sounds like who you hang out with around here is pretty important. Hey, this is the real world. It's important no matter where you are. Now I'm lucky. My roommate's Lila Yadev, athletic superstar and savior of Waverly's athletic program. We actually get along fine. Probably because we're pretty much equals. Everyone knows who she is, and everyone knows who I am. <laughs> a word to the wise. Avoid hanging out with your roommate as much as possible. Okay, if I take a close-up of you, Rachel needs it for the school website. Rachel roped you into helping her, huh? Lucky you. Your first day, you get to spend it with every loser in our class. Man. Ready for my close-up, darling. These people are so harsh. Okay. I said I'm ready. I really want to catch, capture her when her eyebrows start moving. Let's see. Like the moment right when she starts talking. Can we do this, please? Beautiful. I'm actually never sure. Like every time I've always I done this puzzle, already. I never know how much you're supposed to really zoom in, how it's supposed to look. I just kind of like go for it. Just push the button already. <laughs> Ooh, she's getting so impatient. Bye, Hugh. It was so good to have you on. I get the impression Rachel's not one of your favorite people. She's no one's favorite people. Even Corrine doesn't like her. Hmm. She seems nice enough. She has no business being here, either socially or academically, and she knows it. She makes no effort to fit in because she knows she never will. <laughs> Gotta give her that much. What's your take on Mel? 
All that edgy, free spirit, deep thinking stuff is just an act. She knows she can't cut it here, so she's making it look like she doesn't care. Maybe she really doesn't care. Maybe she really doesn't care. Everybody cares what other people think. In fact, if they don't, they're psychopaths. I just learned that in AP Psych. Have you gotten any notes from the black cat? Everyone on the Valcan floor has. The valedictorian candidate floor. Our floor. Has anything like this ever happened before? Not as far as I know. Although... Supposedly, there was a teacher here once, a long time ago, that none of the students liked. They were always playing tricks on her, scaring her and stuff. Until one day, one of their pranks gave her a heart attack, and she died. Her black cat went running off into the woods during the funeral, and never came back. But mm. for years after that, people would spot it lurking in the shadows. And whenever they did, something bad would happen. They said it was the teacher, Miss Hallowell, coming back as her cat to get revenge. Somebody around here is obviously trying to get some mileage out of a silly ghost story. One the headmistress is trying desperately to squelch, by the way. So remember, you didn't hear it from me. Any idea who the black cat is? It's Mel. See, like I said, she's a little psycho. And black cats, strange mishaps, it all fits in with that inane goth thing she's got going. I mean, who else could it be? I need to get going. Adios. Okay, so I think we have the pictures of... Where's our pictures? Yes, of Izzy and Leela. So we have those. Looks like I need a key. Oh, we always need a key. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, we don't have the password. See student body present for password assistance. Okay. The Jasmine Ivy Library is a state-of-the-art resource center that serves the entire campus. Located in Ramsey Hall, the recently renovated library boasts new wireless connections and an interlibrary loan system that connects students with millions of books statewide. The school's own collection contains more than 20,000 items, including books, videos, CDs, and DVDs, as well as over 100 periodicals. In addition to providing students with the resources needed to pursue their studies and interests, the library serves as one of the most popular meeting places on campus. With carols, tables, and chairs spread throughout the room, students are provided with a comfortable and conducive area for both group and individual study. A public computer is reserved for library catalog and school website access. All other internet access is available through the wireless network on students' personal laptops. Unless we need a password for that too. Or, and that. Oh, and that. So like the only thing we can look at is the library page. Ah, but we can search. Okay, I'm trying to remember all of the like Nancy Drew Easter eggs that are on the search catalog and I know I think Bill, I think Bill's on there. Yeah, see, Bill Kessler, he wrote a book about finding fish. Um, Who else is on there? Let's see, Simone, no, is it Mueller? Oh, you can just search fiction and get all the results? <gasps> no way. That's amazing. That's a lot of results. Whoa. So Mel has a piano book. Hubbard has the fork book. Oh my gosh, I did not know you could just, just search them all, Kalina. <gasps> Hal Tanaka. A Visitor's Guide to Paseo Del Mar. <laughs> yes, I want to read every single book. Oh my gosh. There's so many. 
You know, hey, that's pretty impressive though. That's like a whole, seriously, a whole catalog for, for, for real, for real. Williamina Grave, Williamina Grave, Shakespearean sonnets. A floppy tail. I know these names, they're so good. Bon and Clyde. <laughs> oh my goodness. Paseo del Mar schools, the codes and regulations. Man, okay. There's a lot. I love details like that, though, because it makes the game feel so much bigger. Okay, let's go take some more pictures. Oh, we have so many pictures to get. Kareem. Hi. Hey, how come I couldn't find anything about you online, like on your page? You, you looked me up online? You looked me up online? Well, yeah. It's the 21st century. Soon as you meet somebody, that's what you do. And... Anyone under the age of, like, 30 who doesn't have something up on your page either A, has been living on Mars, <laughs> or B, is seriously weird. And since it doesn't look like either of those applies to you, what gives? I took my page down because, for personal reasons. Well, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Well, who is he? Where does he live? Come on, you can tell me stuff. I'm your roommate. I'm sorry, but I, I'd rather not talk about him right now, okay? Yeah, okay, whatever. So what do you want to talk about? Hmm. Well. I guess let's talk about other I people. I Mel. She's very different. Yeah, I think that's why we're friends. She did say I was her friend, right? Oh, sorry, that was dumb. There we go, sounding all insecure and loserish again. Oh, the chat's not loading for you guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think on Twitch, this, the the chat is taking slower than it is on YouTube. Are you a Waverly Legacy like Mel is? Does Mel have any other friends? Are you a Waverly Legacy like Mel is? As if. I earned my way into this place. I was accepted because I was the most deserving applicant, like, ever. Those are my words, not the school's, of course. But it's still true. I met Leela. She was in the rec room. She's usually in the gym, either bouncing, kicking, hitting, or throwing some kind of ball. You name a sport, she's great at it. And competitive? That girl loves to win, and almost always does. If this next game theme is hacking in computers, it would be so cool if they tie in your page to it. <laughs> it would be really cool, wouldn't it? Some really competitive people cheat, does she? When did she hurt her wrist? When did she hurt her wrist? She started wrapping her wrist about a week ago, but is it actually hurt? Debatable. Could she be the black cat? Well, she's here on a scholarship, so it's real hard for me to believe she's smart enough to one, secretly be the black cat, and two, divert suspicion by faking an injury and making herself look like a victim of the black cat. But I have to admit, it is possible. Rachel enlisted me to help her get her web project done. Better you than me. You don't like her? Let's just say she's not one of my favorite. <laughs> Literally no one she likes anyone in this whole game. <laughs> like last month, she flunked a test that took her out of the running for valedictorian. Technically, she shouldn't even be on this floor anymore. I need to take a close-up of you for a web page Rachel's working on. That okay? <sighs> Without your camera, and let's get it over with. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone's talking smack about everyone. Becca? What are you doing? We really need to Photoshop something on to that hand. Like, I don't know what. Like, I don't know if it needs to Becca, be like. What are you doing? Like Henrik falling down the temple. Like just, she's just holding Henrik. I need someone to do that for me, please. <laughs> Could you speed it up a little? I'm coming, girl. Okay, here we go. Yoo-hoo. I'm waiting. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. Becca, what are you doing? Okay, let's see. I think this is about as zoomed in as I was for everyone else, right? I think that's beautiful. 
Could you speed it up a little? <laughs> Do you know where I can get the key that opens the, yeah, the special cabinet? You cabin? know where I can get the key that opens the special collections cabinet in the library? You can get it from me. How bad do you want it? Uh, kind of bad. There's a book in the collection I'd really like to look at. Okay, here's the deal. I'll give you the key to the cabinet. <gasps> I forgot about that. Views for me. How do I do that? Just figure out which views go with which object. Each object has a front, top, and side view. Those are examples in case you need them. I can do that. Bring them back when you're done. Anything else? That's high school girls for you. <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. Yikes! I'll let you get back to your paper later. I don't miss high school drama at all. If people on Twitch think they're having chat issues, it's probably just because they can't see the YouTube chat, so they can. Oh, so they can't see some of the commenters wanting to. Oh, that's very true, Tori. That is true. I'm kind of responding to like both at the same time. Okay, now let's take a picture of Mel. Yeah. Hello, Back Mel. the new girl. What's going on? Do you hang out with Izzy much? Do you hang out with Izzy much? I don't hang out with her at all. I can't stand her. She's so fake and vacuous. It's like talking to a mannequin. Dang. <laughs> oh, man. Would you say she's the most popular girl in your class? Would you say she's the most popular girl in your class? Absolutely. Sometimes the sound of everyone sucking up to her is positively deafening. <laughs> Are you friends with Leela? Are you friends with Leela? No, although I used to be. Of course, that was in grade school, before she got caught up in sports. Now all she thinks about is competing and winning and school spirit. Stuff I just find pathetic. Do most kids like her? Do most kids like her? I'm not a fan, but everyone else? You bet. Mmm. How well do you know Rachel? Not well. We don't hang out. How come? We have nothing in common. Plus, there's something about her that's a little... off. What do you mean by off? She's just a little strange, and not in a genius sort of way either. In fact, when it comes to being valedictorian, it's a mystery how she ever made it this far. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, so I am on Twitch and YouTube today. If you want to hop over on YouTube, I know that's where like the, uh, I had, before we went streaming today, I had a people, a couple of people would DM me and they were like, Hey, can you also stream on YouTube? So I wanted to try and do both so I could, cause I know some people don't have Twitch. So I am trying to, uh, do both this time. I need to take a close up of you for a page on the school website. I'm helping put up if the school wants my picture on its website. Groovy. Groovy. Away. <laughs> okay. So take the picture. What's the hold up? That's that's what Can we want. We please get this over with. Who do you think the black cat is? I don't do conversations on that subject, remember? Especially <laughs> when it's so obvious that it's Izzy. You have me open on both now. <laughs> this is good. I think I think there's more people chatting on YouTube anyways. What makes it so obvious? What makes it so obvious? Izzy doesn't deserve to be valedictorian and she knows it. She also knows she'll never get into an Ivy League school unless she's valedictorian. So, she has to eliminate the competition. I'll quit bugging you. Drop in any time. Oh, Emma. That's so sweet. Thanks for joining. Oh, she's not there? Wait, that's not what I meant. So we have to get the we gotta, we have to get her picture picture too. <laughs> oh, their pictures are so great. Someone didn't lock their door. Hmm. 
Okay, let's think about what, what all do we have here. We have to do... Oh yeah, the things she gave us. Okay. Orthographic projection. Representing a 3D object in 2D by using front, top, and side views of the object. Exercise. Oh, we love exercise. Okay. Assign the orthographic projections to their correct view and object. The object is projected onto a flat surface from the different angles to create individual views. There are four objects shown in a perspective view and 12 individual orthographic projections. Each object has one orthographic drawing from the front, top, and side angles. See example below. Did you get Megan's picture yet? Oh yeah, we gotta call Megan too. That's right. <laughs> oh wait, no, go back. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. So the top of this is definitely like a T-shaped. It's like this. Yeah. And then the front is also a T-shape, but it's like an upside down T. So the side view, hmm. The side view is like stairs. So it's gonna be like one of these. I think it's, I think it's this one because this one has like a triangular shape, which would be like more like this one, I think. Like if you're looking at the side, right? If you're looking at the front, I feel like that's gonna be the front. This is definitely the front, the top, and then the side. This would be the top, right? This would be the top on this one. Oh, I think this would be the front. This would be the side. Is that right? I think that looks right. I did not know that it was called orthographic, so. Actually, let's go give it to her and see if this is it. Hello, ma'am. Finish those ortho views for me? I think I did. I think so. Okay, let's see what we've got. Sorry, you need to check the front view of this one. Anything else? I'd better get going. Hmm. Bye. Up to whatever. Oh, she didn't tell us which one, though. She just said the front view of this one. Okay, the front view is right on this one, I'm pretty sure. And this is the front. I'm pretty sure. So which one's the front on this one? Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to go back through them all again. The top. Got the T-shaped, and then the front has the upside down T, and the side is the stairs. I think those are all right. The front is the shoe shape, and it's right. And then the top are the two sides. And the side is this big square, so those two are right. It's one of these that's wrong. Oh, you always, oh yeah, you guys get the front and the side swapped? I think that's what I did. I think I swapped one of the fronts and the sides, but I'm not sure which one. To me, um, hmm, I think, yeah, I think that's still the top, yeah, this has to, yeah, is it this, is it one of these maybe, like this, the front view, we should just swap it up. Now let's see. You finished those ortho views for me? I think so. Okay, let's see what we've got. Front hmm. view's wrong. Try again. Anything so it's else? not that. I'd better get going. Bye. Off to whatever. What about swapping front side, bottom left, maybe? Wait, which one? Hmm. 
What about swapping front side, bottom left? That that was the, I think that was the one I did swap, but it, she said it was still wrong. Is it one of the? Maybe it's this one. This one just looks right to me, though. I know she still didn't like it, did she? <laughs> it was still wrong. Okay. Um. Maybe we'll swap those. Let's see if she takes it then. You finished those ortho views for me? I think so. Okay, let's see what we've got. Something's wonky with the front view. Anything else? They're all swapped. I'll let you get back to your paper. Suit yourself. Wait, on which one? On that bottom left one? It's on this one, isn't it? Still wait, hold on, still thinking about it. All are currently swapped. Oh, you mean like like the front is the side? Oh, I see, so then this is the side and that's the front. Oh, did I miss that? That's my bad. Oh, my bad. See, it literally says the left side's the front. Yep. Yep. I see it now. I see it. Oh, so then this should be right then, yeah? You finished those ortho views for me? There you go. Looks great. Thanks. Here's Ooh. the key to the cabinet. Whatever books you take out, be sure to put them back when you're done. They're too old and fragile to carry around. I will. And leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it later. Sweet. I'd better get going. Bye. Later. Yeah, you're right. I should I I could have I should have just read the directions. This is true. Um Oh, we should check things off, shouldn't we? Meet the person I'll be rooming Did with. Did that. That's done. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Check. Oh, yeah, we got to call Mel's roommate. Hi, my name is Becca Sawyer. I'm a new student at Waverly, and I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions, if that's okay. I mean, I know you've been sick. No, no, go ahead. I'm still kind of weak, but talking on the phone's not going to kill me. What exactly happened to you, anyway? I was eating dinner at school three nights ago, when all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. And when I tried to stand up, I got so dizzy, I fell right over. So they rushed me to the hospital, and by the time I got there, I was turning blue, and my blood pressure was down to like 40 over 20 or something. Whoa. I'd gone in anaphylactic shock, but then they pumped me full of epinephrine, so by morning I was all stable and stuff. My parents were real upset. They dragged me home with them, and they still haven't said when they're going to let me go back. I even heard them talking about suing the school. Anyway, now I'm real upset. I really miss Waverly, for the most part. What do you mean? Is there something about it you don't miss? About 10 days ago, someone slipped a note under my door. All it had on it were the words, the black cat wants you to start packing, and a paw print with some scratch marks. Weird. Then, about a week later, I got another note. All it said was, time's up. I went to dinner the next night and... Wound up in the hospital. You think whoever sent you that note tampered with your food and deliberately triggered that allergic reaction? I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I've been to the emergency room on account of my stupid allergies so many times, it's ridiculous. And even if someone did put something in my food, I'm still here. I mean, I always recover. It's not like they were trying to kill me or anything. Who at Waverly knew about your allergies? Everybody. School policy. That way kids won't give me anything with nuts in it. I'm allergic to tree nuts. Almonds, walnuts, cashews. My mom's always telling me to pay more attention to what I'm eating, but I'm really bad at that. 
If you had to guess, who would you say the black cat is? Izzy Romero. Why her? Because she's the sneakiest, most spiteful person I've ever known. You've probably met her by now, and I know she doesn't seem that way, but you're new. Just wait. It's been great talking to you. Anyway, it's been real. I'll see you when I get back to Waverly, okay? Right, bye. We should just go ahead and make a call to Ned and Bess as well. I honestly don't think... Are there some games that you guys like have not even called Ned and Bess in? And so like, you don't even know what the, like, the storyline is there? Because I don't think I know anything about the storyline in this one. Hi, this is Bess. I'm a little busy right now, but leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? Izzy equals Regina George. Mean Girls. Whoa. I sure am. He answered so fast. So how's it going? Um, terrible. Terrible. I can't figure out whether any of the girls I've met so far actually like me. Of course they like you. And even if they do like me, no one's going to commit to being my friend until they're sure about where I fit in around here socially. They got a pecking order going, huh? And it is brutal. Like junior high on steroids. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. <laughs> junior high on steroids. <laughs> Ned, I'm a detective. I'm pretty much here to spy on people. If they get wind of that... Like I said, just lie through your teeth and you'll do fine. What about the case? Any luck tracking down the source of those mysterious notes? They're being sent by someone who signs them as the Black Cat, complete with a paw print and scratch marks. And only valedictorian candidates have been getting them. Think someone there has a grudge against brainy kids? Or one of the brainy kids is trying to get rid of her competition. Being valedictorian is that big a deal? It's a very big deal. The valedictorian gets a college scholarship. Full ride, school of her choice. But how smart can these kids be if they're intimidated by a bunch of silly notes? It's midterm study break. The kids who chose to stay at the school are cramming for tests and madly writing papers. The notes may be silly, but they're still distracting. And some of the accidents that have followed them have been pretty malicious. Malicious, huh? You're not posing as a valedictorian, are you? No, I'm not. Good. Although I am living on the same floor as they are. You just had to throw that in, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry. So what is your plan? I'm going to search every inch of this place and question everybody I see until something or someone leads me to the black cat. And in the process, you're going to be very, very careful. Right. 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 Danny! Bess, ignoring your calls. R so rude, right? She totally screened it. You always call Ned and Bess and George, you love their side stories? Yeah, me too. I just don't know why in this game, I don't remember what the side story is. I don't remember calling them. I've met all the valedictorian candidates. Cool. Tell me about them. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. Corrine, the girl I'm rooming with, she's not exactly Miss Popularity. What makes you say that? So far, I've only met one girl who even halfway likes her. That's not good. At this school? It's a disaster. Going. Who else? Believe it or not, there's a goth living in the room next to mine. <laughs> a goth? A goth. With weird hair and disturbing body piercings? At an exclusive East Coast all-girl boarding school? She's a legacy, meaning the women in her family have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted. You're not automatically liked, however. She doesn't have a lot of friends? Doesn't seem to. Is she into black cats? Don't know that yet. I'm a sucker for obvious suspects, but it sounds to me like you should find out. Keep going. Who else? Izzy Romero is a valedictorian candidate and student body president. Is she nice? She is to me, so far. But that's probably because I'm still new to the pecking order. She's at the front of it? Oh, yeah. She rules the roost around here, that's for sure. But she's not without enemies. Roost rulers seldom are. Keep going. Who else? For real, Ned, Ned. What are we doing, Ned? Lila Yadev is Waverly's star athlete. Don't talk about my girl and Mel Ned, like that, Ned. She's competitive. <laughs> Spends most of her time in the rec room trying to get people to play games with her. She's a valedictorian? Yep. Shouldn't she be studying like everyone else? Says she's got everything under control. Ah, uh, smart jock. Good for her. Keep going. Who else? Oh my gosh, Ned's lines in this one is just... Visas, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. 
This girl named Rachel asked me to help her with a school project. How'd you get out of that? I didn't. I told her I'd help her. And actually, it's a good thing. Gives me an excuse to go poking around, talking to people. So what's this Rachel person like? Well, no one around here seems to like her very much. How come? Bad breath? B.O.? Poor taste in shoes? Leela says she's schizoid, to the point of being scary. And she does tend to keep to herself. The quiet loner type, huh? Better keep an eye on her. I need to get back. Watch yourself, Nan. I will, Ned. Talk to you soon. Let's see if Rachel is back. Nope. Okay. Check. So we did that. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Did that. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Oh, well, we've done a lot. Oh, I wish we could, like cross them out as we go. Okay. Usually Ned calls you and that's all that happens in this one. Best never answers, I'm pretty sure. This one isn't call heavy. Oh, yeah. I was going to say because I don't remember there being much phone conversation in this one. Hey, what's going on? Is it true you're here on a scholarship? That's right. Athletic. Full ride. Although I have to maintain a pretty high grade point average in order to keep it. Luckily for me, that's not a problem. What would happen if you got injured and couldn't play sports for the rest of the year? They'd probably pull my scholarship, so not only would I not be valedictorian, I wouldn't even be able to graduate, which would really shoot holes in my future. So if I get injured again and I find out it's this black cat person's fault, believe me, she's going to wind up injured too. Would it be okay if you weren't the valedictorian? It'd be okay with the school, but it sure wouldn't be okay with me. No matter what I'm competing in, I always play to win. The nice thing is, I usually do. Are you and Izzy pretty good friends? We get along. We're roommates mostly because we're both valedictorian candidates and that's just the way the room assignments worked out. So you don't like her that much? I like her fine. She's smart, she's pretty, she's popular, she's always got a boyfriend. What's not to like? I'll let you go. Hang in there. Oh, this game is so chaotic. <laughs> it's so messy. Now let's go talk to Izzy. Izzy. How's it going? Apparently, I need to get a password from you before I can use the school's computer. That's right. Unfortunately, I need to finish this DNA model before I can give it to uh, you. More Too homework. Bad, huh? Want me to help you? Sure, you bet. Excellent idea. Okay, here's what you need to do. You just have to make sure adenine is always paired with thymine and cytosine is always paired with guanine. And make sure each pair is connected to a sugar on the alternating sugar phosphate side. Just jump in. You'll figure it out. When you're done, bring it back. And if you get it right, I'll tell you the password. Sounds good. Thank you so much for following Danny. So glad to have you. What else is going on? I've harassed you enough. See ya. I guess let's put this DNA model together. All right. Ooh, okay. Hmm, I know I love how like science oriented and focused this game is. I'm a huge fan of science. So fun. So we need a red one. There's not many red ones, so it can't be this one. And it can't be that one, so it has to be this one. Okay. We also need a blue one, and it can't be this one. And it can't be that one. So it has to be this one. I love this puzzle too. You're so right, Danny. No one does their own homework in this game. They don't go get their own food. They don't do their own homework. Mm. It's a shame. Okay. Looking for yellow. Could be this one. Oh, no, it can't be that one. Because then it can't go that way. So it's not this one. This looks very promising. This one does. I like that. 
couldn't have been this one anyways. Yeah. So then now we need a black one, but it can't be this. Could definitely be this. This looks promising too. Hold on, let's see. We got some more, but it can't be this one because look at that pink line and it can't be that one. So it has to be this. All these girls are like Harry and Ron getting her money to do their homework. Science is one of your favorites too. Science is so awesome. I feel like I can accredit Bill Nye to my love for science. That's what we used to watch in elementary school. And it was like so fun. Oh, Emma, I totally am. <laughs> Because there's so many puzzles that I don't know what I'm doing, but thankfully everyone is super kind and gracious in the chat and totally helps me with puzzles when I'm stuck. So it helps. It helps, it helps. So we need a... It could be this one. Nope, it can't be. There's no pink right there. But it can't be that one. So it has to be this one. <laughs> boom, boom. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, okay. This one's probably gonna go here, right? I would think. And if it does, maybe it, this goes here. Hmm. Maybe not, hold on, let me, let me pause on that one. We know that a thiamine goes here. I think it goes right there. Does it matter how many you have in a row? Does that matter? Wait, that's not right. We're missing two right there. Hmm. Is this right? Is that how you put it together? Finished with that DNA model? I think so. Awesome. Okay, <gasps> no way. W A C three five N E one three six. W A C three five N E one three six. Got it. Thanks. What else is going on? Who I wrote that so fast? Okay. What do you think your chances are for making valedictorian? What do you think your chances are for making valedictorian? Chance has nothing to do with it. I deserve to be valedictorian. Therefore, I'm going to be valedictorian. Oh, hold on. Let me, I gotta catch up on these. Okay, let's, Carter, 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 let me share my secret. First try, let's go share it. Oh, I wanna know your secret. What's your secret? Share your secret. Hey guys, I've been lurking while I've been working and just realized Izzy's got the frizzies. I'm new to your content, but I love your easygoing chill gameplay. Perfect, perfect. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you all so much. I'm so excited. Yes, it worked. Okay, chance has nothing to do with it. I deserve to be valedictorian. Therefore, I'm going to be valedictorian. <laughs> None of the other girls deserve it? Absolutely not. Look, it's not just a matter of getting the highest grades. The faculty also looks at extracurricular activities, leadership, community service, school spirit, things I totally excel at. 
I'm going to be valedictorian, and then I'm going to Harvard. <laughs> I'll catch you later. No problem. It's so ambitious. Okay, so you see how there was a little glare of light on... Oh, I got a text message. On the bobbles, make them all face the right way, upper right, and all your pieces will be in the right orientation. Makes it a lot easier and faster to solve. What? No way. Okay, next time I will think about that. I did not know that. That's a great tip. Let's see who's gossiping. Looks like Mel <gasps> got another note. Ooh, goth girl gets second black cat note. Oh, we got to go ask her about it. It's open. What's the word? Oh, we don't get to ask her about it? Oh, uh, oh wait, who got, who got, hold on. I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good. Who who got the Oh yeah, no, it was her, yeah. I guess Did we just can't ask her leave? about it. <laughs> Did you even leave? <laughs> no, I didn't. I just awkwardly stood there, checked my phone, and I came back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Finally done cleaning the house. Now I can join and watch. Oh yay. I had I cleaned my house yesterday. It was so much fun. And I definitely needed it. Chack. <laughs> oh, when Nancy says that. Chack. I called Megan Vargas. Yeah, how is she? Mm, not great. Not great. She really misses this place. More likely she's concerned about falling behind in her schoolwork and not making valedictorian. She thinks Izzy is the black cat too. That's only because she thinks Izzy stole her boyfriend. I told Megan she was better off without the guy because anybody who'd be attracted to Izzy was obviously worthless. But hmm. she didn't take that very well. I can't imagine I need she a would. photo of your roommate Megan for the school website. Would you happen to have one? Sure don't. But Leela Yadav might. She and Megan have been palling around lately. Check the rec room downstairs. I'd better uh, get going. That's where we get her Drop picture. That's time. right. This game moves like the chores. I feel like move very, very quickly. Let's do it. Hey, what's going on? I was told I could maybe get a picture of Megan Vargas from you. Yeah, I've got a picture of her. Oh, games. it's air hockey time! Air hockey? I'll go get it for you. <laughs> uh, let's do it. Bring it on. Bring it on. Excellent. Okay. First, pick your mallet. Then, after the game starts, hit the puck with your mallet and try to get it into the goal at my end. And when I hit the puck towards your goal, use your mallet to block it, if you can. You can only use your mallet on your half of the table. First person to score seven goals wins. Got it? Got it. Got it. Then let's get it on. Bye, Liv. Thanks so much for joining. You guys have a great time. Always make a point to assess my checklist in the middle of the night in this game, standing over Kareen's bed while she sleeps. Track. Check, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, Beezus. Uh, you know, I always think about that too. Like in this game, it's so weird because Nancy wakes up in the middle of the night and Kareen's just chilling. She's sleeping in the bed and like you can be on your phone just making noises and like she'll never wake up. It's kind of creepy. Hey, Livy, Livy Bird. Hey, how are you doing? So glad to have you on the stream. All right, let's do it. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, uh, uh no. Oh man. Oh my goodness. I love that Leela, she just never stops moving. Oh, 
I actually find the hockey to be quite, quite fun. Like I can tolerate this as a mini game. Point. You tell her, Nancy. She oh. shoots. She scores. Hush, Leela. Woo! Sweating. How many points do you have to get? Oh my gosh. Point. Is it seven? I think it's seven. I go upstairs, I'll get it for you. Do what? You don't even have it now? No, thanks. Need anything else? Did you get that picture of Megan for me? Sorry, haven't gone back to my room yet. I'll let you go. <laughs> I figured Bye. it was worth asking. Uh... Oh, yeah. No worries, Courtney. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post it as a playthrough now. So, But yeah, I hope you're able to get your daughter back to sleep. It's no worries. Okay. What is left on the to-do list here? Check. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Oh, yeah. We can go to the uh, library computer now. What was it? It was WAC 35NE136? Yes. I'm in charge of the snack shop. This should be interesting. Oh, I no. don't even know where it is. Oh, my bad. Okay. Every student is assigned a school work study task. You are snack shop boss. Failure to perform this daily task will result in three demerits. You get demerited for not doing the snack shop. The Black Cat and other Poe stories by Edgar Allan Poe have been stolen from the Ivy Special Collection. Five credits to the individual who recovers and returns the book to the library. Scheduled maintenance of the school's website will occur during prep week break. Numerous pages of the school will be operative. Any student with information pertaining to the individuals responsible for the recent Black Cat notes and harmful pranks is to speak to the headmistress immediately. Ooh. So none of this works. Okay. Nestled in the picturesque setting of the Adirondacks, Adirondacks, Waverly Academy is a world-renowned college preparatory boarding school exclusively for girls. Established in 1866, our rigorous academic curriculum and social community endow students with the skills and knowledge required to succeed in their future endeavors. The story of Waverly began shortly after the end of the Civil War. With the conflict over, attention once again turned to the importance of educating the youth of the day. Four influential women were inspired to create a school that would lead the nation in providing an unparalleled level of education for young girls. Dignitas in ominous? These founders, Harriet Ramsey, Rita Hallowell, Mabel Whittier, and Esther Abbott, opened the doors and ushered in the first class of 14 girls in the fall of 1866. Today, Waverly Academy continues to embrace its mission statement for excellence in all facets of life. An, ex an exacting admissions process limits incoming class size to 50 students, allowing the girls to experience their studies in an intimate seminar setting with an average student-teacher student ratio of 12 to 1. Much of the boarding experience takes place not in the classroom, but in the hours after the school day ends. Participation in the numerous clubs, activities, and athletics available, along with the residential living, develop not only social and leadership skills, but lifelong friends. Come and discover the world of Waverly. We're waiting for you. You know, the, when her interactive, and they did this all with a lot of their games, they uh, they would make microsites, and the microsites would be advertised through their website and through their social media. And I think if you go back uh through like the Wayback machine you can still access some of those microsites 
And in one of the microsites that they did, they had Waverly Academy um, as like, I think it was like a website, but it was a little bit deeper than it is right here. And they actually posted a map of the whole entire campus of warnings at Waverly Academy. So you could see every type of building that was on the campus. And one of the buildings was a um, stable, like a like stable for like horses and stuff. So at Waverly Academy, they have a whole um, stable for horses. They go horseback riding. And I thought that was so cool. And how awesome would that would have been if we could have seen that. Uh, web page under construction. Hmm. Bon, bon, bon. Hmm, academics. Okay. Waverly's academic program is designed to prepare graduates for success in college and beyond. An all-girls atmosphere provides a safe environment which establishes, which enables students to have focus on reaching their full potential. Our rigorous curriculum offers a wide range of courses intended to give each student a strong foundation in the traditional academic disciplines, as well as a compendious exposure to the arts. In addition to the core classes, Waverly also offers numerous AP and honors levels, as well as interest-specific independent studies. Contributing in a large part of the academic success of each student is Waverly's renowned faculty. With a combined 200 plus years of experience, our dedicated teachers are ever willing to lend a hand to students. The low student teacher ratio allows a strong, supportive relationship to form, which in turn allows students to challenge themselves further than they had ever dreamed possible. As our seniors cross below the arc on graduation day, 100% of the class matriculates into top colleges around the world. Secure in their knowledge of academics, the arts, and themselves. I don't think any of these pages work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is where we download the photos. Okay. We already did that. Oh, the squirrel! As you'll recall last month, I expressed concern that Casper, our beloved resident, albino squirrel faced certain starvation this winter because waverly's groundskeeper had begun keeping the ground below the oak tree where casper lives spotlessly clean Pr practically every acorn that fell was swept up almost immediately giving casper no chance to collect them and store them for the winter okay so maybe the groundskeeper was doing this because of the infamous great popcorn heist back in september wherein casper ransacked the backpack of some careless freshmen and caused the contents of the bag of popcorn within to get blown from one end of the campus to the other. Yes, Casper made a mess, but cutting off his supply of acorns in response was cruel and unusual punishment, right? Anyway, in reaction to the groundskeeper's overreaction, I urged all of you to go out every day and gather as many acorns as you could and pile them at the base of the oak tree so Casper could have food for the winter. I called this the SOS campaign, save our squirrel. And guess what? It worked. The school has ordered the groundskeeper to back off and only clean the ground under the oak tree twice a week. And so ladies, thanks to my suggestion and your efforts, Casper is once again scampering up and down his tree into his mutual mischief. You guys imagine being the groundskeeper and you're like, I was just doing my job, man. Okay. And then of this, we can, oh, we can look at this. So these are like the class rules. Huh. Security blotter theft, book from library special collects. Oh, this is the stuff that's been student caught breaking into dorm room using their ID card. Keys reportedly locked inside, no damage to door. Ah, uh, I didn't realize, is that like our kind of our clue on how we're going to be able to unlock the door. You really do have to read everything to give you hints on what to do. Whittier Hall. Missing items. MP3 player, silver necklace and earrings. Minor altercation. Two students involved. Huh. Ooh. Oh. Frog. Squid, octopus, lemur, monkey, camel. Oh, octopus, was that here? Oh, lemur, that was here, right? No, here. No, it was here. Snake, zebra, penguin, uh, cow, lion. Oh my gosh, this is so many. How do you remember all this? Bunny. Oh, there's a zebra somewhere. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Ooh, we running, we running. A bat, a dragonfly. Oh, there's a dragonfly somewhere. It's like so intense. I think if you get the high score, you get more, uh, like, what do you call it? Like, not demerits, but you get rewarded, don't you? Oh my gosh, my brain's on fire. Oh, that was I so hard. Top score. Oh, Take did I really? That, Izzy. Ooh, yep, they love to scatter those little tips for you to remember later. Yes, they do. Like, I didn't know that that was in there, but now, like, reading it, I was like, oh, so that's how we're supposed to know. Oh. Uh, yeah, same here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and upload those web page photos. <laughs> Okay, we'll start with you. Okay, so we need two more photos. Hey, what's going on? Did you get that picture of Megan for me? Sorry, haven't gone back to my room yet. Any idea what you been what doing? What's the book of post stories that's missing from the library? I sure don't have it. Mel, our resident goth girl, she probably does. That freak's probably working on a way to bring him back from the dead so he can autograph it. I'll let you go. Hang in there. Let's go see if she's back in her room so we can get a picture. It's not locked. Aha. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. I'm Becca Sawyer. Remember? Sorry, I totally blanked on your name. You get all the pictures uploaded? Not yet. For one thing, I need to take a picture of you. Oh, right. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, let's do it. So what's the holdup? We have to take some kind of Anyone awkward picture. Just for the just for the keepsakes. Could we please get this over with? <laughs> so what's the holdup? Perfect. Fab, listen. Fab. Be sure to let me know when you get all the pictures uploaded, okay? I can't remember. Did I tell you not to bother with Danielle Hayes's picture? No, but her name's been scratched off, so that's what I figured. Sorry, my mind is going all this paper writing, which I kind of need to get back to. Guess I'd better get to work. See ya. Oh, one more question. Who do you think the black cat is? I haven't gotten any notes, so I don't know and I don't really care. See ya. And that's that. And that's that. Ooh, I got another text. Congratulations for posting the high score and double take. You've earned one credit. Uh-oh. Leela's not going to like that. Ooh, Izzy has date for Oxbro Bash with Leela's boyfriend. Oops, make that ex-boyfriend. The drama. <laughs> the drama. Let's go talk about it. It's only fair to warn you. I'm not in a very good mood right now. Because of Izzy and your boyfriend? Of course because of Izzy and my boyfriend. How could she do it? Did she think I wouldn't mind if she started dating Jacob? Did she think I wouldn't find out? My gosh, it's all over school. Mm. You had no idea Izzy was interested in him? 
I'm not stupid. I could tell he was on his radar. The way she'd look at him and flirt her brains out with him. I just never figured she'd actually make a move on him while he was still dating me. I mean, who does that to their own roommate? Have you confronted her yet? No. And you know what? I don't think I will. I'm just gonna act like nothing's wrong. If she's got the guts to bring up the subject, fine. But I'm not gonna say a word. I'm gonna let her wonder just how and when I'm going to get back at her. Because I will definitely get back at her. In the meantime, I'm just gonna shake it off and get back in the game. What's up, girl? Did you get that picture of Megan for me? I've got it right here. But the only way you're going oh, to get it from me to play another is by game. at Scram. What Wait a minute. Say? Wasn't the whole point of us playing air hockey not so that she would bring us the photo? Now she's going to act like she's not going to give it to us? Wow. I'm sorry, but why does Jacob just get a free pass and all this? You make a great point. Make a great point. Same as before. Bring it on, sister. Same as before. Bring it on. <laughs> the Hintsu says it so okay. positively. Each game has two rounds. You play one round as the blocker and the other round as the scorer. And you take turns throwing the darts. First, the blocker throws three darts. Then the scorer throws three darts and so on. Now, hmm. the object of the game is for the blocker to end the round by landing a dart in any section of all 20 numbers. While the object of the game for the scorer is, naturally, to accumulate as many points as possible before the round ends. I assume that hitting the bullseye is worth 50 points and hitting the ring outside it is worth 25? That's right. Once all the numbers are blocked, the rolls are reversed and you play another round. After two rounds, whoever has accumulated the most points wins. Just like in regular darts, the harder the section of any number is to hit, the more points you get. So, you ready? I'm ready. Game on! So, in this round, you're the blocker, and you're going to try Gosh, to hit I'm the good. high numbers so they get crossed <laughs> off the score list. Gosh, I'm I good. I I got it. Nailed okay, it! Okay, so now it's my turn to throw, and I get to score. Guess I better go for the high numbers before you take them out. Is that not the, is that not the bullseye? All right! Oh, I did get the bullseye. Oh, sweet. Missed. Oh, yeah. Oh, and so now I need to go for 18... Bingo! Gosh, I'm good. Nailed it! Where is 16 at? Okay. There it is. Oh, we don't have that one. It's 15. This is also like another great mini game to me. Like, I like this one too. And if we had... Bingo! If we had like All a... Right mini game just like a oh, page yeah. on her interactives website where it was just a bunch of mini oh, games yeah. from the games that would be amazing i would so play that like all the time oh okay 13 i did it you know what else i've noticed in this game oh yeah the music cuts off a lot blew that i don't remember it doing that And I want to hear the music because I love Waverly's music. Bingo. Bingo. Gosh, I'm good. I didn't know Nailed they had it. a few games on their site. Yes. But you don't think they work anymore because they used Adobe Flash. Oh, I didn't know that. I started um, trying to see if I could find like different apps to... I did it. That works. That reminded me of Nancy Drew mini games, so that way I could. Oh yeah. If I wanted to, I could just like play them anytime. I found a couple that really do Nuts. remind me of some of the mini games, but you know, some of these are just like, yeah, you know, they're just so classic Nancy Drew mini game. That works. I did it. I did it. Yes. Gosh, I'm good. But if her wanted to come out with an app, it could be called the Her Mini Game app. I don't know. But if they did, and this app, like it pulls up and basically it lists all their like their games and you just click on it and it has like a subfolder. 
and the subfolder has all the mini games from each game that you can play. I'm sold. I'm buying the app. I would so do that. Nuts. Nailed it. You have a Ven installed on your old laptop with a save game that opens right up to Scopa so you can play whenever you want. Ooh, I should start doing that with my games. Just saving where it's at where it's at the minigame. That's a great idea. All right. Yes. I'm blocker this round. Oh, okay. All right. Bingo. Nailed it. That works. Yeah, Gosh, wouldn't that be an I'm amazing good. app? I'm telling you. Yes. I would use that all the time. That works. Yes. Which I know that would yes. be a ton of work, but I mean, just imagine like you open it up and you're like, hmm, what do I want to do today? Do I feel like, do I feel like cooking at Icicle Creek Lodge or do I feel like playing a Scopa or do I feel like doing a dollhouse puzzle from Haunting of Castle Malone? Just kidding. No one wants to do any dollhouse puzzles. <laughs> oh my gosh. No one wants to do fox and geese. <laughs> I'm kidding. I actually right. love fox and geese. Believe it or not, I'm a fox and geese lover. Oh yeah. Gosh, I'm good. Ten. Nine. Bingo. Eight. Darn it. Yes. Bum, bum, bum. Yes. Bum, 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 that bum, works. Bum, bum, bum. I did it. All right. That works. Mm. Leela did not win that one. Yes. Oh, yeah. You win. Kudos. Here's the photo of Megan you wanted. Great. It looks like I'll have to take a picture of a picture. Okay. All right. I'm going to zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Perfect. Want to play again? No, thanks. Need anything else? I'll let you go. Hit him hard. Another text. That sure got around fast. Oh my gosh. The newbie just topped Izzy's double take score. <laughs> oh man. Okay, wait, where was it at? It was under academics. That's what it was. Whoa. It's just, all my pictures are bad. Perfect zoom, bad pan. What is wrong with this pan? I like that pan. So, oh, wow. Bad framing, zoom out, perfect zoom, perfect zoom, pan, bad pan. What? Bad pan? Oh, I deleted my mail one. All right, well, let's just we'll retake it. I need to take your picture again. Sorry. Fine with me. Okay. Can we do this, please? 
So it was the perfect zoom, but a bad pan, she said. Let's go, Vecca. What's this about your stealing Leela's boyfriend? A guy asked me to Oxbro's holiday bash, and I said yes. Big whoop. But he was dating Leela. It's a free country. He can date whomever he wants. Look, I don't steal boyfriends, okay? I don't have to. Guys are just naturally attracted to me. I know how conceited that sounds, but it's the truth. Leela had her chance with this guy. She couldn't cut it, so now he's into me. She's just gonna have to deal with it. The Missing Book of Stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Do you by any chance know where it is? Uh, no. No offense, but some of the questions you ask are kind of strange. <laughs> I read your blog on the school website. Oh yeah? You like it? It was okay. It was okay. Gotta keep my name out there, you know. And my face. I mean, it's doubtful some rich, powerful person is gonna be checking out Waverly's website, but you never know. Did you see that I beat your double take score? Well, enjoy the sweet taste of victory while you can, because you won't be on top for long. Winning is something I'm real good at. I'll catch you later. See ya. Okay, let's go put her picture back in the website. So I guess those are fine then. No, I hope that one's good. I agree, Tori. There is no justice against Jacob. What's up, Rumi? Any idea where that book that's missing from the library is? Why? Are you an Edgar Allan Poe fan? I'd like to find it so I can earn some extra credits. You and me both. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue who has it. Any idea why it would be missing? Somebody must have wanted that book and not wanted anyone to know they wanted it. That's all I can figure. Did it go missing before or after notes from the black cat started showing up? Before. Right before, in fact. I see what you're getting at. It was called the black cat, wasn't it? That's kind of freaky. I need to take your picture again. Jeez. All right, let's do this again. She said my Zoom was good, but my pan was bad. Is the, they want her hand in it? Yoo-hoo. I'm waiting. Becca? What? I hope they I hope that's good. I better get going. <laughs> Bye. Later. And then who else was it that I had to take their photo again? It was Leela, I think. Hey, what's going on? I need to take your picture again. You mind? Go right ahead. Fire away. You okay over there? I'm waiting. That's it for now. Hit him hard. All right, let's try these photos. Oh, I hope these work. Perfect zoom. Y'all, how could it be a bad pan? It's a picture of a picture. Oh my gosh. Perfect zoom, bad pan. Okay, well. Let's do this again. If you could experience any of the Nancy Drew games in real life, which one would it be? Uh, I, probably, I, I would probably say Danger on Deception Island. It's my favorite game, but I think I would like to experience um, just that kind of ambience and vibe. Like, I think I would love to go explore a lighthouse on the shore. It just sounds like so fun while you explore some kind of hidden passageways. These characters getting impatient after two seconds. Meanwhile, I have to take 20 shots to get it right. Absolutely. And I don't even know what I did wrong. 
Oh, okay. She liked those. Let's see if she says anything. Maybe that's the one, y'all. Let's go see if this is the one. What? Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. Yes. Sure did. Fab. Now I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log in, and click on the Meet the Candidates link again. <laughs> It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. <laughs> what, if I'd rather... what if I'd rather lay everything out my way? You can't. That would be cheating. This is my project. It's got to be done my way. I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, report back to me, because I'll probably have something else for you to do. I knew you were going to say that. In case I forgot to say it before, I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Right. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, you would love Danger on Deception Island too. I think it would be a great one. It's just so um, cozy. I think that's the kind of vibe I would want to go for. Plagiarism? What? Is that true or is it just a rumor? Mm, so now we've got that to investigate. Ah, okay. I love this kind of puzzle. It's like a logic puzzle. Okay. Each column contains only one of the following. Megan, third spot, Boston, New York, art, and math. Okay. Okay. Put Izzy and Mel as far as apart as possible. So Izzy and Mel, far apart as possible. Corrine is immediately after the girl who chose Bio, but somewhere before Izzy. So if they have to be as far apart as possible, then probably should do it like this. Wait. You just got one credit for enhancing man there look at that look at Nan nancy go becca sawyer go oh very true tori ven would be very fun too because of the spine it has a uh a, a lot of fun like you know you're like sleuthing dressing up as someone else and uh having to look through binoculars and like pick locks that would be really fun okay mm-hmm Megan's from Concord and loves history. Mel used to spend summers visiting Leela's Rhode Island home. The girl who enjoys English is from Boston and is immediately before the girl who loves history, but somewhere after the one who picked math. Oh, so many things. The biology and psych students are roommates. Okay. So many things to do at one time. Let's go back through. Boston, New York, and math. Put Izzy and Mel as far as part. Kareen is immediately after the girl who chose by up somewhere before Izzy. So Kareen is there. And Leela chose biology. Oh. oh, 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 I wasn't expecting that. Okay, nighttime. Okay, yeah, so Leela chose biology. Corrine is... Put Izzy in Mel's room. Corrine is immediately after the girl who chose bio. Yeah, but somewhere before Izzy. Do not place roommates side by side. Okay. Just, I need to put their, their pictures up here. But Megan can't go in the third spot. Okay. Rachel, who loves math. So that would be this one. Rachel Hubbard. Is from Pittsburgh. So biology and psychology. And I remember she said something about AP Psych. Which leaves, hmm, which one's the rest of them? Oh, 
I can put their names on there too. Okay, I think she said she has to do papers, so she is English, maybe? Um, the girl who enjoys English is from Boston and is immediately before the girl who loves history, but somewhere after the one who picked math. Oh. So this one, right? Boston. So she has to be before Rachel. She's immediately before the girl who loves history. Hmm, which one's history though? Oh, Megan's from Concord and loves history. I didn't see that. So that must be male as art. Oh, we can't have roommates side by side, so this one can't go here. And she can't go in the third spot because Megan and third spot can't be together. So Megan must be somewhere here or here. I'm just gonna switch them around real quick. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Mel used to spend summers visiting Leela's Rhode Island home. So she's from Rhode Island. So the girl who enjoys English is from Boston and is immediately before the girl who loves history. So it's probably like this. Right? Okay, okay. Now we just need to know which one's which. Let's see if it all makes sense. So each column contains only one of the following. Megan, the third spot, Boston, New York, and math. So that works. Put Izzy and Mel as far apart as possible, which they are. Kareen is immediately after the girl who chose bio. Oh, but somewhere before Izzy. So she's before Izzy, but she's not immediately after the girl that chose bio. Megan's from Concord. The girl who enjoys English is from Boston, Kareen, and is immediately before the girl who loves history but somewhere after the one, so maybe it's these have to switch. Yeah, I think so. I think that makes sense because Mel and Izzy have to be far apart. So they have to be on the ends of the website. Corrine is the English major and she is bef immediately before the girl who loves history. So she's got to be before Megan, but somewhere after the one that picked math. So not immediately after, but somewhere after. But she is immediately after the girl who chose bio. So she has to be in the middle of two people. I think this is it. I think this is what makes sense. The snack shop. Shoot. I totally forgot. <gasps> oh, okay. There. All done. Hopefully Rachel will agree. We have to go to the snack shop. I totally forgot, you guys. Run. Go do it. Sounds like the black cat stalking Izzy. Oh, God. So I was just the three text messages at some point time. Uh, okay. Snack shop boss orientation guide. Ho, ho, ho. The following are the instructions for running the Ramsey Hall snack shop. Shop hours are 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. That's a really long time. Upon entering the serving area, announce that the snack shop is open and that orders can be placed. Individual orders are submitted on a ticket. Because several tickets may be submitted together, make sure to scroll through the order list to verify you filled all of them. Students are permitted only one each of the following items per order. Drink, fruit, sandwich, bag of chips, and dessert. Each ticket shows the items ordered. 
place the ordered items on a tray. Serving area has space for two trays, so two orders may be worked on simultaneously. Orders cannot be combined. A tray may only contain items for one order. Don't forget to toast the bread or bagel if requested by the student. Students can request any sandwich filling combination of meat, tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese. Fill a sandwich order exactly as indicated on the list. Cookies must be baked in the oven before they're served. Are we sure about that? Because I, I like some cookie dough. When an order is ready, press the pick up call button. A bell sounds currently placed and removed. When, oh, a bell sounds and any currently placed student orders are removed when a teacher places an order. Teacher's orders must be filled immediately. Ooh. Okay. Okay, everybody. Snack, Snack shop's, shop's open. open. Let's do it. Toasted bagel. All right. She also you wants. Know, I hate to admit it, but I really like calculus. No, you don't. No, I do. I love going to that class. <sighs> Everybody does. Mr. Harris is like the best looking teacher in the whole universe. Food's ready. Snow pretty soon. Blizzard type snow. Oh my gosh, it's making me so hungry. I want this. Oh, it's a hot lettuce sandwich! We have a hot lettuce sandwich! <laughs> Pick up. Order's ready! Lettuce, cheese, lettuce. Order up. Ah, yes, the famous tomato sandwich. Order up. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> this game got me hooked on bagel sandwiches. Oh, I know. It all just looks so good. Always makes you crave warm cookies. I know, me too. There, all done. Whoa. Ooh. Wonder what this is to. Oh, okay. So this is like some kind of antique kind of key. So that's got to be something super important. I'm trying to think. We unlocked that. Oh, but we did unlock <gasps> outside. Oh, I bet you that's what it's to. It is. Oh, we're down in the basement. Macroeconomics in French cinema. Science can be fun, though odds are you'll find this book exceedingly tedious. <laughs> The human brain and its untapped psychic potential. America, land of adventure. Hmm, chapter two, regions of the United States. Sacagawea presents New England. Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Vermont. Since the Mayflower brought the first pilgrims to the Massachusetts coast in 1620, the New England area has experienced constant growth while maintaining its rustic appeal. The nation's smallest region is also home to some of its most renowned learning centers, including Yale University, Harvard College, Dartmouth College, and Brown University. From the picturesque northern shores of Maine's Arcadia National Park, west of Vermont's Maple Forest, south to Mark Twain's house in Connecticut, and east to historic Boston, there's always something to see. Ah, Mid-Atlantic. The Mid-Atlantic states are home to a wealth of historical sites, including one of the world's most iconic figures. Located in the water separating New York and New Jersey, the Statue of Liberty has been welcoming immigrants on their way to Ellis Island since 1892, along with neighboring Pennsylvania's Independence Hall, where the Declaration of Independence was adopted, and Washington, D.C., our capital city since 1800. This region is the heart of America's government. Southeast. Hey, that's where I'm from. I'm Southeast. Referred to simply as the South, this region's confederate and cotton plantation past is well known. Agriculture remains one of the most 
economic foundations of the area, while rich cultural centers like Louisiana's New Orleans and Georgia's Atlanta offer a contrast to the bayous of Mississippi and the gators of Alabama found in between. Midwest. Also known as the Heartland, the Midwest's strong agricultural roots have influenced its growth and culture, and the region is famous for its no-nonsense, down-to-earth mentality. The area is home to the Great Lakes, including Lake Superior, the largest freshwater lake in the world, four states, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Wisconsin, as well as the largest city in the Midwest, Chicago, are bordered by Lake Michigan. Ooh, the Great Plains, a white-tailed deer outside the Cahokia Mountains in Illinois. Separating the mountain region from the Midwest, the grasslands of the Great Plains begin in North Dakota and stretch south to Nebraska. The Plains' strategic geographic location produces some of the most unique weather on the planet, from white-out blizzards to devastating tornadoes. Once the grazing fields of millions of bison, these agricultural states were the sites of frequent clashes between pioneering homesteaders and Native American tribes. Mountain Home to the Rocky Mountains and the Continental Divide, this region is all about the great outdoors with 14,000 plus foot peaks, old mining towns, captivating natural vistas, and abundant wildlife. Yellowstone, which is such a beautiful place by the way, um, we went on vacation there like, I think it was about two years ago? Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. The nation's first national park, located primarily in the northwest corner of Wyoming, but extending into Montana and Idaho as well, is renowned for its geothermal activity. Oh yeah, that was really cool. You know, it was actually kind of scary because like you'd be walking on these pathways and there would be all of these uh, fences because you couldn't even put like a foot onto that ground because there is a lot of heat under the ground. And they have had people that have tried to do that um, and they like lost their foot because the... <laughs> the water and the steam is so hot so it was kind of scary walking on those pathways i was like stay on the path and don't move <laughs> dj twin gamers how, how are you it's so good to see you but yeah really really pretty place though okay southwest the arid southwest boasts the nation's largest states texas and the longest canyon arizona's grand canyon Native American culture still abound in the region and influence its local economies. Admitted to the Union after 1900, Arizona, New Mexico, and Oklahoma are the nation's newest states, bringing the total to 48. And then the West. With three states bordering the ocean, the West lies along the explosive Pacific Ring of Fire. Active volcanoes populate the scenic Cascade Mountain Range, including Washington's Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helena's, Oregon's Mount Hood and South Sister, and California's Mount Shasta and Lassen Peak. Their destructive force disguised as majestic glacier-capped peaks. These volcanoes patiently bide their time, certain to eventually come to life once more. And then territories. In addition to the United States, other regions are tied to the United States. The following compromise the U.S. territories. Alaska, Hawaii, American Samoa, Guam, Panama Canal, Puerto Rico, and U.S. Virgin Islands. <laughs> I guess it has to tie into the uh, map puzzle that we have to do, huh? <gasps> what? No way! You're nursing with Spanish minor classic sleuth. It was very stupid. I've been a nurse eight years already. Time really does fly. No way! That's actually I. Um, that's what I do actually for a living. I have a nurse. Believe it or not, nurse by day, Nancy Drew content creator slash streamer by night. <laughs> I went to the U.S. Virgin Islands last May. It was so beautiful. Oh, I've seen pictures and it looks, I mean, just pictures don't even do it justice. I mean, like it just is stunning. Doing good. We just got off work and are just relaxing and studying message in a haunted mansion. Ooh, cool. I love that game. This is like some kind of boiler, but I have, I don't know what this does. So I'm just, I'm not going to touch it. Ah. Okay. Hey, how creepy would this game have been if like you get up here and when you open the door, like Kareen's just standing there and she's just like, with her eyes really wide. <laughs> Oh man, no, not even Kareen. It's uh, it's Shorty, Shorty Thurman. All of a sudden, he just like 
peeps out and he's like, it's shorty. <laughs> Madeline Moore, this is it. You're teaching a Nancy Drew class this summer. Which game would you recommend for younger gals? I was thinking Phantom of Venice or Shadow Ranch. Thoughts? Ooh, chat, what do you guys think? What are some games that would be really good for younger younger players hmm i think on that one i always think like haunted carousel is a pretty easy and fast one hmm secret of the old clock is also a i feel like a good one just for younger ones maybe danger on deception island as well would be good yeah. For sure. I definitely agree. I think the younger, the earlier games are better for younger players, for sure. <gasps> okay, first of all, I just want to say that is so awesome that you get to teach them how to, like, pick a lock and Morse code, and then, you, then Fridays are going to be game day. Oh, that is so awesome. Are you a teacher, S. Faye? Do you teach? Uh... Oh, so how to pick a lock in Morris Code. Danger on Deception Island would be a great one for at least the Morris Code part, I guess I would say. Oh, that's amazing, S. Faye. How awesome that you get to kind of like give part of your childhood to this next generation. That's awesome. And I think that's a perfect third through sixth grade. I think that would be perfect Danger and Deception Island. I'm gonna think on some more on that. Okay, Rita Hollowell. Okay. The Accolades Waverly Academy routinely receives for its literature program are due in no small part to Rita Hollowell. She was born in 1831 in Baltimore, Maryland, the youngest of four children. As soon as they could reach the cash box, Rita and her siblings were put to work in their parents' general store. As a result, Rita learned reading, writing, and arithmetic at a very young age, and neither received nor required any formal education. But reading soon went from being a necessity to a passion, and by the time she was 12, she was secretly devouring every book and newspaper that entered the store. While on a rare family trip to New York City in the summer of 1846, Rita witnessed a spirited public debate between Edgar Allan Poe, whose poem The Raven was receiving wide acclaim, and one of his critics. Their lively discussion awakened in Rita a longing to study the literature that enthralled her, and, to her family's shock, the refuse, she refused to return home with them, demanding her inheritance so she could attend New York University. Her father refused, so Rita left to pursue her dreams on her own terms. But after two years, she found herself in a financial strait and returned to Baltimore. Her parents forced her to enroll in the nursing program at Washington College Hospital, a local hospital with a poor reputation. There, between classes and duty rotations, Rita continued to read and study literature as best as she could on her own. In 1849, who had become one of Rita's favorite writers, was admitted to the hospital incoherent and deathly ill. Though little is known about his brief stay in the hospital, Rita no doubt spent every free moment at his bedside before he died days later. The exact cause of his death was unknown then and is still debated today, but shortly thereafter, for reasons known only to her, Rita suddenly left Baltimore never to return. She traveled upstate finding work as a teacher at several schools until she became a founding faculty member of Waverly Academy in 1866. For the next six years, she taught literature tirelessly, outgoing and animated in that classroom. Rita was quite the opposite when not teaching. Her refusal to interact socially with students and faculty members alike caused many to speculate it was because she had a dark, perhaps even sordid past. When she died suddenly at the age of 41, rumors flew that her death was the result of a cruel practical joke perpetrated by a student who took exception to Rita's eccentric behavior. The fact that her beloved cat disappeared on the day of Rita's funeral, only to reappear for years afterward whenever something strange occurred at the school, only added to Rita's mystique making her the most controversial and most colorful of Waverly's four founders. Board of Directors, Jebediah Ramsey, Mabel Whittier, 
Esther Abbott, Harriet Ramsey, and Rita Hallowell. Warning, Waverly Academy in 1860. I keep wanting to say Wizards of Waverly Place. Ugh. I work at a summer camp and pitched this class. So glad it got picked. Oh, oh that's awesome. They're really, they're, and they're great games for that, I feel like. Okay, fun fact for everyone watching. This is actually uh, some of the employees over at Her Interactive. Uh, they got into some old clothes and took this picture. I don't know all of their names, but I'm pretty sure this one's Robert Riedel. Riedel, am I saying that right? He was one of the producers of all the games. And then this one is Kathy. She's the one that designed all of the puzzles in the games. And she also helped one of uh, the main writers write a lot of the storylines as well. I'm not sure about the rest though. But yeah. Okay. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool, Courtney. Honestly, I don't know where they go. I think I have a special lobe in my brain and it's dedicated just Those to Nancy Drew. Numerals. <laughs> oh, yeah, we get to open this. Oh, so MMDCXLI. So MM is, M is 1000, right? I should know this from Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. MM 2000, I think D is 500, so 25. Hmm. Is it, hold on, two, 2000 and, is it 600? 2641, 2641? Ooh, I'm a little rusty on my Roman numerals. Oh, sweet. Oh, there's nothing here. Interesting. How's it going? Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. May I see it? Sorry, I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. What do you think about Mel and that plagiarism charge? I'm not surprised. Like I said, she's psycho. She wouldn't think twice about doing something like that. I need to get going. Pop in anytime. Okay. Oh, yeah. And we need to look at the something on the website that we unlocked. Mm, under student life, yeah? Wasn't that something that we had to do? Still have to do that. Oh. Still have to do that. Like something that goes in those little niches. I smell what the deal Can't is. Can't check that off yet. Oh. Can't check that off yet. Hmm. What are we missing? I think there was something on the website. That's done. Did that. Haven't done that. Still have to do that. The student guide? I thought we read all of that. Student guide. Student guide. Oh, this, okay. Check. <laughs> yeah, I was like, there's only one thing that we haven't read. Okay. Ooh, so what's next? I mean, we've done so much. What time is it? 9.38. Ooh. This cornerstone looks different than it did in that book. Every single time I see Roman numerals in real life, I tell myself the same thing. I should know this because of ghost dogs. That's one thing I really love about the indie games. They are so educational in ways that are useful. I learned how to make a fire from Nancy Drew. That is just so cool from a video game. I completely agree. There are so many times in life where I've been like, I learned this from Nancy. I'm having a Nancy Drew moment. And that's pretty cool. Oh, that doesn't work.
The controls are always so weird on this puzzle. Maybe like that? No, that wouldn't make sense. Or like that. Like this? There's always room left over. Hmm. But I've had the same experiences though, Courtney. Like uh, I'm like talking to someone about something. They're like, how do you know that? And in my head, I'm thinking, Nancy. <laughs> All Nancy Drew. <laughs> Oh, maybe it goes like this? Or is that how it just was? Hmm. Yeah, it's the same thing. Wait, how was I supposed to make it look? Like a full square? Oh, yeah, like a full square. Yes, I know. I try I I guess I attribute all my all my facts that I know about things is all it's always Nancy. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. We got to put it into a square. Ah, like that. Yes. That's coming together. Yes. Well, hey, little guy. What's up? What are you doing? Hey, come back here. He must have some kind of nest up there. We need that, Casper. <gasps> Hollowell. Ooh. Carter, I think you'd be really good at making an Instagram series about things I learned from Nancy Drew, except she's really ridiculous things like how to get smuggled with via ham radio. I would love to make a series like that. That would be so fun. I just might do that. You know, I actually, Tori, I have this new series that I was working on, and I think it's going to be good. It's funny. Anyone think we'll get more Game 34 today? Ooh, good question. I have no idea. To be honest with you, I'm actually kind of glad that they've slowed down because that first two weeks, it had me so stressed out. It was such a fun time though, like having like random puzzles and clues drop all the time. But I think it's good that now that they've at least shown the video preview, maybe to kind of like let it rest a little bit and then we'll come back with more excitement. Right. Okay. If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make a note that this thing is to be remembered. Ho -ho. I do not wish to forget, but others must before the day comes when it is safe to be recognized for what I have done. Over a decade has passed, yet I continue to feel as if someone were watching about to expose me for the villainous I in some ways am. Poor Usher? My beautiful cat, oh, uh, that's the name of the cat, is my sole comfort, but he continues to dislike our new home. Even the warmth of his favorite lamps no longer calm him unless accompanied by the piano rendition of their musical narration. Huh. Oh, even the warmth of his favorite lamps no longer calms him unless accompanied by the piano rendition of their musical narration. First low bass, then color a turn. First low bass, then color, color, color tura. Hmm. So that has to do with those piano ones, right? Right? Yes, you needed the news to slow down. After two nights in a row of 2 a.m., 3 a.m. wake ups. I know. 
I know. I feel the same way. I was there was there was one night that they were dropping clues. I stayed awake. No, no, no. I went to bed at four o'clock in the morning, and I woke up for work at five. I slept for one whole hour, and then when I went to work, because when I do work, I only I work like about twelve and a half hours shifts. That's about how long I work, and then I worked that whole 12 and, a, 12 and a half hours and didn't go to bed until 10 o'clock that night. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have been awake for a very long time. <sighs> I mean, it was, but it was fun though. I had a great time. I know. I know. I shouldn't have done that. I'm not, I'm not young enough to do that anymore. <laughs> okay. Y'all, I was, I was so dead. I have no clue how I functioned. And everyone was asking me at work. They were like, how are you still awake? Because I actually don't drink any caffeine at all. And not like because I don't want to. Just, I just don't. I don't drink ca like coffee and stuff. I'm not a coffee drinker. And I usually, I just usually just drink water. <laughs> I know. It's kind of crazy. Okay. Experience has shown, and a true philosophy will always show, that a vast, perhaps the larger portion of the truth arises from the seemingly irrelevant. Ooh. Indeed, a day spent afield sketching a beautiful raven has allowed me to discover this for myself. Its cousin, the crow, is not nearly as noble a creature. But how to tell the two apart from a distance? Close observation of the wedge, wedge tail, large bill, Shaggy breast, rough, and elegantly long primary feathers lead to a wondrous conclusion. Reconstruction of these United States will lead to an even more wondrous conclusion, but that is a subject for an altogether different classroom. Oh, okay. I know, and I think that's what ended up happening to me, you guys. I think I was just... I had so much adrenaline for all the cool clues that were coming out that I literally could not sleep. After I turn 24, if I get less than six hours sleep, my entire day is ruined. Oh, I know. I agree. And I'm a huge, like, I love sleep. So I will sleep for good, like, eight-ish, eight-ish hours a night. About, about a night, eight, eight hours a night. I love sleep. Oh, man. Till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before. On this morrow, he will leave me as my hopes have flown before. To have known Edgar Allan Poe is to have known genius. Though it's now obvious I shall never be the writer I long ago imagined I would someday become, I have found all the space I need in his writing, so that I scarcely notice as my dreams depart one by one. With a cele celebratory diner, dinner, an elegant wine nine-course meal served with perfect etiquette, I bid the last of them farewell. Years come and go, yet the past remains, a constant undimming shadow, and so I have assembled a group and charged it with, albeit unwittingly, protecting and preserving my hidden treasure. Behind the Dupin Gate, the Black Woods chant shall someday reveal what history deemed lost, but only after someone's dogged curiosity and capacity for clear thought have proved that person to be worthy of the honor. I can do nothing more. Rita Hollowell. Other Poe stories. A cat and a moon. Yeah, I agree, Tori. I think I think that what they have done has revived so much like uh excitement and everything, you know. And I think it's so fun for them to hide clues in the way that they are. It makes everyone so much more interconnected. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. That's done. That's done. Still have to do that. And, okay, so I had actually, you know how we've talked a lot about like, oh, I bet her interactive check. is totally Can't reading that off yet. everything we're check. saying. That's done. And absolutely loving I it. Done that. I can confirm. I, her interactive employee did message me and they were like, 
Uh, we do debriefings uh, every week and uh, we look and read what everyone is saying and we have enjoyed uh, keeping up and watching what everyone's saying um, because I'd post something Check. on my story. And so I think it's really great that they're interacting with the fandom again. I mean, like that, that to me is like, it matters. It matters and it creates so much mystery, I think, and makes it so much more fun waiting for game 34. Still have to do that. Can't check that off oh, yet. Oh, that's right. We have to ask her for the book. Okay, okay. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Okay, we have a lot to ask. So they are keeping tabs on us and watching all our all of our theories and all of our all, all of the things that we have uncovered. Which I think is fun. Okay. What other things can we do? I th Was it more that we needed to search? Yeah, the story of four, yeah. Oh, no way, Indie Crafts, that's amazing. I love that. This one, that, that, that's what I'm saying. I think there were a lot of people and you know, they've grown so much. They've had so many uh, new followers that have met, like I think hopped on their page and it's great because I think there were a lot of people that were, you know, they were kind of not, I don't know. I think they were like, maybe had just, they were waiting. I don't know. I think we think we were just waiting for something big to happen. And now that it's finally happening, I think they're all now hopping on the page, on her interactive page, and they're just like more involved now. And it's great. I had this um, one guy, he had DM'd me and he was like, oh yeah, I haven't played the games since like, like, I mean like so long ago, like decade, a decade ago. So he was like, I'm so out of the loop on what everything is happening. But he was like, but because all the fans had been sharing about game 34, he was looped back in and heard about it and started like keeping back up with it. And I was like, see, that's awesome. That's so great. I know it was so great. DJ twin gamers. Like when they sent that message, cause I was like, ah, oh, yes. Confirmation. You guys are keeping up with everything that we're saying. <laughs> oh, I got a text message. <gasps> Curfew hours. Okay. All of the, okay, us as a community and fans have never had this happen before with a new game coming out, but no info on, on oh, but no info on, yeah, yeah. Right, exactly, McKinsey. You're designing a Francis Humbershaw? What? That's so cool. How do you even do that? <gasps> what? Her interactive just posted? Nah. What'd they post? What'd they post? What Nancy Drew cooking puzzle do you like to play best? What are those capital letters? A R I. A S A R I A S say Aritas. Uh uh. Oh, someone pointed out barista. 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 You guys. So are they are they insinuating that they're we're gonna we're gonna have a coffee shop mini game? Oh. Oh man. Oh, is what if there was a barista mini game? I'm literally I'm trying to like post this on Instagram too at the same time. This is so funny because we were literally just talking about this. Uh, 
I would love I would love to have a free whoa when we we're just thinking of <laughs> we're going to be a barista that would be so sick oh my gosh latte art please oh oh that would be amazing can you imagine we have to like make some kind of like symbol with the like the coffee foam a re so someone said That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking coffee shop too. Right? Plus they they're like talking about oh, cooking puzzles, like cooking puzzle mini games. Baristas, y'all. Yes, that's what we were talking about. If there was a barista mini game, I would die. That would be so fun. Oh, and you know what would be so fun? If we're being a barista, we literally have to spell everyone's names wrong. They come up and you're like, yeah, we're, like Nancy has to spell their name on the cup and it's all wrong. They didn't leave another clock in the hashtags this time. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if maybe they're going to drop that. Hmm. This is so funny. And it was funny because it was literally like right in the middle of us talking about they haven't posted in a while. Hmm. Well, that would be so fun. So fun. If we get another cooking puzzle and it's coffee, I am all for it. I guess I better head to my room. Oh, it's past time. Girl, you better run, Nancy. Don't get no demerits. Oh, she's asleep. Oh, what if we could, like, snoop on her computer? Oh, it's time. It's time to climb. Since I don't really know where I'm going, climbing this tree is probably not a good idea. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. My bad. Ooh, I'm telling you, if that's right, I will so be okay it's with dark, that. And I've never climbed this thing before. Talk about your recipes for disaster. I know Luminous Infusions on YouTube. They had already uploaded like a music play of Game 34 just based off the music that they had pulled from the video. And it would be amazing to have like a coffee shop vibe with really relaxing music in the back. Man, I'd go for that. Oh, I guess I gotta go to bed. What was that? Oh, it's Casper. Ah, now we can go and... What I need is an expert tree climber to show me the best way up this thing. Ah, uh, now that's how we do it. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Was I supposed to pay attention? Was not paying attention. Okay, so climbs... There, 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 and there. This puzzle is literally always so hard. 
Uh. Oh my gosh, that was too many steps. Ho oh, ho ho. I don't even remember. I gotta do it again. Okay, this one, this one, this one. And this one? <gasps> no! The good news. No one saw you fall out of the tree. The bad news, at least not until the surveillance video was posted online. Three million hits? Oh no. <laughs> Where did I miss? There, there. Oh, maybe we should save our game. For level, let's see, level one squirrel. Yeah. And then this one. Okay, up here, up there. Oh my gosh, how do you remember all of that? Uh-uh. Saving it again. Level two, squirrel. I know, this is, seriously, I think this is difficult. It's a lot of steps to remember. Totally lost. Totally lost it. I'm gonna have to load back to level two squirrel. Oh, you can't do that? No! I totally thought you could. See, that's just wrong right there. Okay. Let's see here. 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 And then we went up. And then we skipped one. Over and over. No, definitely not. It's not it. I didn't. You actually caught yourself at that last second. The bad news, then later you fell out of a different tree. Some things are just meant to happen. That's so complicated. Okay, this one, this one, then this one, uh, this one, and then. That's very true, Tori. Yeah, for sure. I I really honestly didn't expect them to post for a little bit at least. I thought they were going to kind of give it some more time. But I love it. They they just they know what they're doing. They know how to keep it how, keep it keep it going. Dun 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 dun.
Oh man. Sweet. <gasps> oh, this part's so eerie. What is that sound? Thanks so much for following so much. Okay. Well, we have this now, so we can use that. But I think for now, we should just go to bed and start tomorrow. They like Tuesday drops, and they posted at 6.44 my time, which fits with their last clock emoji, which was 3.30 PT. Oh. Oh. oh! Ah, That's good point, Tori. My phone. Wait a second. What's this? Hmm. Looks like Danielle did get a second note from the black cat. Hmm. Oklahoma. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? I guess that would be... Like a nod to their next game because it was in Oklahoma. So now that they didn't include any other emojis in their post, I guess that means we don't know when they'll post next. Which could that mean? Oh, it's snowing! Hello, snow! Merry Christmas, everyone! Could that mean that the next post will be very uh, like a like a really good post? Like it's gonna be like something big? Oh, ho, ho, ho. what I'm wondering because if so that would be what's up roomy that would be interesting. see you in a bit enjoy uh, oh go back hey, to France guess who just got a note from the black cat congratulations just don't go all Danielle on me okay stay away from closets <laughs> don't worry Oh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if they're going to just keep doing these cryptic clues or will we get another big thing? Oh, Pisa said, maybe one of their interns is watching your stream and said, Carter thinks we're not going to post. Do it now. It was oddly kind of like way too on time, right? Her, are you here? If so, I love you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. See if that piece of wood I found under the bed is shaped like the state of Oklahoma for a reason. Hmm. Check. Haven't done that. That chanting heard may have something to do with Rita Hollowell's hidden treasure. Still have to do that. Check. That's done. Still have to do that. Oh, yeah. I got lots of people to ask questions to. Come on in. It's not true, if that's what you want to know. So you didn't plagiarize that paper? So you didn't plagiarize that paper? Of course not. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote, ever. Can you prove that you didn't? I'm not allowed to try. They've locked my computer account to make sure I don't mess with anything on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? 
papertrail.edu. It's a website all the teachers here go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the internet. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher, she matched my paper with something on Paper Trail. Not only is it insulting that they'd think I'd cheat, but that I'd do it in such a way that I was sure to get caught? Come on, I am not that stupid. <laughs> you think someone's trying to frame you? Day after Megan left, I found a note under my door. And then, not too long ago, I got another one. Both were from the black cat. If I could just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't. And whoever this black cat person is knows it. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's gonna care. But I don't deserve this, and I need help. Just before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the Ooh, paper and supposedly plagiarized. I didn't get a chance to write it down, but I do remember oh. that none of the digits in it repeated. See if you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that, please? Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. Here's the paper I got back from Mrs. Arlington. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources for paper trail. If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly stole from. Hmm. Thank you, Becca. Oh man, just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway, what's new with you? That book on music theory you checked out, could I take a look at it? No problem. As long as you go get me some milk and a cookie from the snack shop. It's not that I'm too lazy to do it myself, it's just that... You have a certain image to maintain. <laughs> Mel's and wink. milk and cookies don't exactly enhance it. Understood. I'll be back. Students aren't supposed to know about it, yet it's on the student website's link. <sighs> Very true. You can come in. What? Listen, I know you checked out a book on Victorian dining, but I was wondering if I could borrow it. I'm kind of into Victorian stuff. Sorry, I need it for the paper I'm writing. But I'll tell you what, if you get my math notebook from Mel, I'll work on that project for a while and you can borrow the Victorian book. I know Mel's just down the hall, but I'd rather not have to deal with her, okay? Sure, one math notebook coming up. Great. See you then. So many chores. All right, let's do the snack Attention, shop. Attention, everyone. As of now, the snack shop is open. Okay. I have got such a crush on Mr. Harris. I can't stand it. You <laughs> and every other girl at Waverly. Not every girl. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Just the ones who take health. Okay, tomatoes, meat, lettuce. Cute, but he's not Food's really ready. Hot, you know? Well, Another hot lettuce sandwich coming up. Food's ready. Oh, I know. It does make me sad too. Mel's such a great person. She does not get the credit she deserves. Come get your order. Order up. And one cookie. And that is so what I'm eating tonight. I'm I'm going to get warm cookies with milk. Because now I'm like so hungry for it. There. All done. Well, they posted that one at 3.34, so I think that's the last hint since the new emo post doesn't have a clock emoji. I think so. And honestly, I don't think there's really, like, I don't think there's really much too, too much depth to it. I think they really were just telling us, like, hey, there's going to be a cooking puzzle in this one, and it's going to be coffee. I'm here. You've got my snack. Awesome. I mean, I think. I don't know. Here you go. It seems Perfect. pretty straightforward. Thanks. All yours. Sweet. What else is going on? I need to get Rachel's math notebook from you. Sure. Soon as I remember where I put it. Nuts, I left it in the library. That's all right. I can go get it. Why do you want her math notebook? 
Well, actually, Rachel, uh... She wants it, but she didn't want to ask me for it in person. It's almost like she's afraid of you. I don't treat her any differently than I treat practically everyone else around here. In other words, for the most part, I totally ignore her. I don't know what her problem is. Do you by any chance have a library book called The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories? The one that's missing from the library? Sure don't. I've never been much into Edgar. He's a little over the top, even for me. I'll let you get back to your music. Doors always open. Yeah, I think so too, GJ Twin Gamers. I think, I, I don't know if they'll have like anything big until the big giant, whatever the big announcement will be on the 28th. I think we'll get like small snippets of things again, but nothing big like we just got. How's it going? Thanks for all the advice. Pop in anytime. Uh, where is the book? Oh. Something tells me I don't see Rachel's math book anywhere because it wound up in here. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to look at that again. Ah, uh, I can't look at the cover anymore. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. What? What is dirt pudding? Please tell me more. Oh, we gotta go to the restroom. Where's some air freshener when you need it? <laughs> oh, Nancy. What? You made a boo boo. <gasps> Check the note I left for you online. No, first, uh, hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? <gasps> what did I do? Hometowns aren't matched up correctly. Is that better? There, all done. Hopefully, Rachel will agree. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Is dirt pudding like the pudding that has like the Oreo crumbs like on top with like gummy worms? <laughs> I know what you're talking about, McKinsey. We have an ice cream shop that does that. What? Becca, nice job on the layout. Thank you. What's next? Next, I need you to take a few more pictures. Here's a list. They're all things that are special to Waverly Academy somehow. Iconic, I guess you'd say. They can all be found on the school grounds. The only one that might be a little problematic is the picture of Rita Hollowell and her cat. She was one of Waverly's founding teachers. There's a couple of references to the picture in the school records, but it hasn't been seen in eons. But if you can find it, and I can get a photo of that photo up on the website, it would be such an incredible coup that it might even put me back in the running for valedictorian. I'll give it my best shot. This girl literally made me go all the way back downstairs to change the website to switch two shitties, which she could have done. Upload them like before. Whatever. I'll check them when they're up. And if I see any problems, I'll leave a note for you on the page. Come back to me when you're done. I'll stop passing. Bye, Brittany. You thanks so much for joining so today. Long. I hope to see you again sometime soon. You have a great day. Mm. Oh, I got a text. That's Ooh. not very nice. But then gossip seldom is. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I think we've got a pretty good headway, I think, now. Um we have the two books we need. We also have to get pictures of stuff. This puzzle. <laughs> That's so funny. Yes. Isn't that funny how we've all watched Argle Fump and we can quote that? I'm here. You've got my math notebook. Fab, I'll take that. What do you have against Mel? Nothing. She's one of the few girls around here I actually kind of like. But before, you said you didn't want to deal with her. You misunderstood. I meant I didn't have time to deal with her because of these stupid papers I have to write. Anyway, the book's all yours. Go ahead and take it. Formal Victorian dining, the right fork for the menu. I gotta get back to work here. I'll see you later. Hmm. So we have a lot to do. Okay. Let's go with our checklist first. Wood inlaid school emblem. That's like right here. Okay. I think it's time to change up our stuff. Let's go with some uh, purple. 
and we'll do the surf shack. That's so classic to, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. All right, now what? Entry arc to Waverly? Ah, uh, snow. It's snowing. U.S. map with handcrafted wooden states. First academic wind trophy, courtyard oak tree. Hmm. So I get the oak tree. Oh, it's a bow. Oh. I feel like that's a terrible picture. <laughs> Because I don't even have the whole tree. Don't you want the whole tree, Nancy? I will say, a nice touch to this game is that the weather actually changes through the game. I don't know if you guys noticed, but like when you're snooping outside at night, you can hear some distant thunder in the background. And then it snows this day, and then the next day it's like full blanketed snow. I like that. I think that shows a lot of progression to the story. So it's fun. Mm-hmm. And what else did we... Oh, yeah, the trophy. We needed a picture of the trophy. Sweet. Beautiful. So I think the only thing we're missing is getting in there. They're still gossiping about me. Hmm, newbie left France because of secret boyfriend problems. Actually, you're wrong. That is not what that means. That says newbie left France because of secret butterfly problems. Yeah, that's right. Out. Out. I am a butterfly. I'm a beautiful butterfly. Um. Oh my goodness. What are we doing? We have so many things to do. Okay. Haven't done that. Oh yeah, the bow. The barrette. It's open. How goes it? Is this yours? I found your barrette. Great. Hey, thanks. I don't know why I bother with these things. They're always falling out of my hair. I know. <gasps> this one fell out of your hair at that cloak and dagger meeting you were at last night. Dang! What meeting? Dang. I don't know what you're talking about. I was watching, Mel, from up in the oak tree. I saw <laughs> you. I'm not going to tell you anything, so whatever you think you saw, just forget it. Nancy is savage. She made her walk right into that. Oh. Ooh. So it's okay if I text everybody about what I think I saw? Mel, look, whatever you tell me will go no further than this room. I promise. I'm not looking for something to gossip about. I just want to know what's going on with you. That's all. What you saw was a meeting of the Blackwood Society. It's a secret mm. club that someone at Waverly started a couple of years after the school was founded. Only seven girls a year get chosen to be members. What does the Blackwood Society do? We just meet. There's no talking or socializing. We literally just stand around for about 20 minutes and chant. It's more like a tradition. One that keeps going even though everybody's forgotten how and why it started. Everything's totally anonymous. Everyone wears a black cloak, except for the leader. Hers is light blue and no one ever talks. They just whisper, so you can't tell who anyone is. About once a month, I'll get a note or a text saying there's a meeting that night. <laughs> You're so right. This school is getting to Nancy. She's becoming like one of them. And then she was like, so it's okay? It's okay if I text everyone what I think I saw? Oh, Nancy, you are learning from everyone. What happens if you don't want to be a member? Oh, yeah. What, yeah what, what, does, what, happen? what happens if you don't want to be a member? I have no idea. Hmm. To me, belonging to the Blackwood Society is cool. Not because it's secret and exclusive and all that, but because I like being part of something that someone a long time ago, for whatever reason, thought was important. Mm -hmm. I like not knowing what the chant means, and I accept all the secrecy and anonymity, because by doing so, I get to be part of a tradition that's more than a century old. 
I'm sure some girls belong because they're too intimidated to quit, but I belong because the unknown is something I've always felt drawn to. Anyway, that's it. That's all you're going to get me to say on the matter. Do you think there's any connection between the Blackwood Society and all this black cat stuff? I meant what I said before. Blackwood Society? Never heard of it. Hmm. Man, that was so I'll savage. I'll let you get back to your music. Drop in any time. Oh, I got another text. What we got? Becca, if you still want that Poe book, check out our illust illustrious, illustrious, illustrious presence room. The coast is clear. Go for it. Oh, oh, oh. Well, who do you guys think sent that? Always wondered. Pit stop. <laughs> Locked. Izzy must be somewhere what? else. Did it not just tell me that they were out and I should go for it? Beck, if you still want the public, check out our presence room. The coast is clear. Go for it. Well, I can't get in. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. Oh, wait. Who is... Who is... The president? Am I, am I tripping? Is it here? Oh, no. It's not her. It's Izzy, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, for real. Locked. Izzy mm. must be somewhere else. You may not come in. Just leave. Gotta have, gotta have to sleuth your way in somehow. Yeah. Hmm. Something somewhere. Hello, ma'am. Hey, what's going on? Do you think I could borrow the old menu that you borrowed from the display case in the foyer? Yeah. In fact, I got it right here. I needed it for this lame nutrition paper I had to write. I keep forgetting to put it back. But before I give it to you... Let me guess. I have to beat you at a game. Air hockey or scram? Ooh, which it. one? Air hockey or scram? Let's do air hockey because it's so chaotic. Air hockey. Excellent. Ooh, we got a new one now. Imagine if each mallet that you got... Point was like an upgrade and you got a, like a new like upgrade like maybe this mallet has like she oh, shoots oh. she scores oh. i i just scored against myself uh, i don't know how i feel about that so basically the purple mallet could be upgraded it could be super fast or it could slow down the time I should have gone with Scram. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. You beat me. <laughs> nice <laughs> job. There's the menu. Thank you. So I think need that's anything else? what we that's needed for, for the Victorian there. silverware. Is that right? Pretty sure. Let's see. Celebratory dinner. Oysters. I can't read that. Oysters. Pon. Pon somni. Terrapin. Filet of beef. Sarbet. Roast spring chicken. Cheese. Vanilla ice cream. Sugar oranges. Coffee. I have to write all this down. Pon. Sony Terrapin Filet of Beef Sorbet. Mmm, sorbet is so good. Roast of spring chicken. Mm, sugared oranges sounds really good too. And coffee? It all sounds wonderful paired together. Okay. 
So I think we use that plus our Victorian book. Should be able to know what to do. Okay, flatware. All right. Formal meals in the Victorian era were grand social affairs with as many as 15 courses served during a single evening. Etiquette demanded that each course be accompanied by a specific piece of highly specialized flatware, making knowledge of what food to eat with which utensil imperative. The ease with which guests consumed such a meal was a reflection of their social standing. So knives, okay. Place. The largest of the knives shown, the place knife was actually less expensive than a regular dinner knife. Its longer blade drew attention away from its smaller and hence cheaper silver handle. Ah. Dinner. A staple at the table, the dinner knife is one of the largest knives. Its heavy silver handle and its blade slightly smaller than that of the place knife made this an expensive addition to any flatware collection. Dessert slash lunch. Originally known as a dessert knife, this utensil was renamed a lunch knife when interest waned in purchasing a special knife for dessert. By renaming the knife, cutlery shops were able to continue selling this piece of silverware. Steak. Although not commonly available until after World War II, its special blade made cutting meats easier. Fish. Found in a variety of sizes and shapes, the fish knife was commonly used for both fish and salads. Melon. This sharp knife accompanied the fruit course when melon was served, permitting the, dinner, the diner to cut the melon slices into smaller pieces. Game. This knife was included in the setting when game birds were served whole rather than in pre-carved pieces. With its sharp curved blade, the game knife allowed diner, diners to carve their birds themselves. And then butter. Typically the smallest knife in the place setting, the butter knife comes in a variety of styles. It featured a short blade with a rounded tip to assist in scooping and spreading butter. I don't think any of that other than sugar and oranges caught roast of spring chicken, flay of beef. Hmm should still be in your Nancy. Oh, you remember drawing pictures of the silver and should still be in your Nancy binder. I got to find my Nancy binder. I was looking through some bins, um, earlier and, uh, I think I found one of the old ones, but I don't know where all of mine is. Hmm. Let's see. Terrapin. What's Terrapin? I have to look that up. Terrapin. Terrapin food? Is it turtle? Hmm. All I'm seeing are turtle images on Google. Is a terrapin a turtle? We eating turtle. Oh my gosh. Roast of spring chicken, sugared oranges, cheese coffee. And then what was the other one? I really honestly cannot tell. Is that Ponsame? Ponsame? Oh, cons oh, consomme, which is clear soup from richly flavored stock or broth. Oh, okay, okay. So that's going to be some kind of spoon then, huh? Should be. Let's see here. Oh, ah, another fan, Amber Sullivan, junior class. Okay, spoons. Iced tea, okay, so that's one dessert. Originally intended to be used for desserts, this spoon now commonly accompanies a clear soup course. The switch occurred as interest in a specialized dessert spoon waned. Okay, so that one could be the ponsome. Let's see. I'm going to say dessert spoon? Question mark? Because it could be. And then the play spoon was introduced as a cheaper alternative to the larger soup spoon. Its slightly smaller length and narrow oval shape needed less silver to manufacture. Soup and cream. Or could it be this one? Hmm. This round soup spoon was the traditional soup spoon for the victorians when the dessert spoon became an alternative soup spoon in the early 1900s this soup spoon was relabeled re as a cream soup spoon though it has been used for both consommes and creams until then hmm it could be that one too
Ice cream. With its unique bowl shape, the ice cream spoon became immensely popular for a frozen treat. Okay. That one's easy because we have vanilla ice cream. So kind of looks like a, a skull. So I'm going to say skull shape spoon. Yeah. Okay. Orange and fruit. Before sweeter oranges became available, Victorians ate their oranges like grapefruit with sugar sprinkled over the top. The orange spoon's pointed tip was ideal for separating the fruit from its membranes. Aha. Uh -huh. So sugared oranges should be pointy spoon. Lots of spoons here. Egg. As sorbet became more prevalent as an intermezzo to clean the palate between courses, a separate spoon was necessary with which to eat it. The compact size of the egg spoon typically used to eat hard-boiled eggs served as a breakfast found a second use at the dinner table. So this is... Hmm, so the egg spoon then, which would be this one? That's going to be for the sorbet egg spoon. And then dimitasi. Formal dinners frequently ended with coffee served in a separate room. The dimitasi spoon was a vital accompaniment to the individual coffee cup. Huh. So we're using like all the spoons. So far that was one, two, three, four spoons. We're just not sure if it's one of these two for the soup ones. Okay, now the forks. Ooh, okay. This mid-sized fork was a fixture in nearly every fight's maybe. Fish, with its thickened, too narrow dinner towards it. Well adapted to both removing bones from fish and easily spearing the meat from hanging. Hmm. Fruit. Its three long tines enabled dinner to spear pieces of dice fruit with ease. It was nearly identical to the bird fork. Ah, cheese. Okay, let's see. One, two three, four, five. It's the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, so the cheese is just a two, a two sp spiky fork. That fork looks so strange. Okay, and then dessert forks typically came with wider end tine for cutting and a bar across the four tines to better support the dessert on the fork. Hmm don't think we need that because I think we have everything else figured out. Ah, terrapin. Oh, seafood, like oysters. Oh, there we go. So seafood and then and then terrapin. Shut your mouth. Since terrapin turtle meat was served in a broth. Oh my gosh. So it's basically a spork. It was a poor turtle. No, I love turtles. I used to have a pet turtle, but it ran away. I'll tell that story another time. It's a really strange story. Okay. So, okay. The last fork is for Terrapin. Last fork. And then oysters is the... And then the fillet of beef. That's the only thing I didn't, and the roast of spring chicken, which has to be a knife, but I don't know which one. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Emma. Yeah. Oh, Emma, it was crazy. I was literally in the middle. We were actually all in the middle of talking about, yeah, I wonder when they're going to post again. Like, maybe we won't get one for a while. I don't know. And then all of a sudden they posted. It was weird timing, man. Okay. <sighs> this knife was included in the setting when game birds. That must be roast of spring chicken, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe it is the Filet of beef. Okay. What will a filet? Is that going to be like steak? Because it's like a filet. One, 
two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's kind of has like a sharp. Okay, let's do it. Oh, they're out of order? Oh. Hold on. I'm going to snappy snap a picture of the pictures. Because I think I wrote down according to these pictures. <sighs> okay, okay. And then, yeah, it works. Okay, good. So I'm assuming we would have to pull them in order of what the menu says, right? So we would start off with the oysters. I said that the oysters was the second to last fork. It's, let's see. Hmm. You can't really see them very well. I can't tell which one that is. I think that's not it. I think that's this one. The smallest one is that one. So it must be this one. Oh, there we go. I wasn't close enough. Whew. I was like, I can't see it. So I think it's this one. It's the first one. Now this one is going to be tricky because it's, oh, I didn't write it down. Hold on. Let me, let me look at it again. Originally intended to be used for desserts. This spoon now calmly accompanies a clear soup course. When the dessert soon became an alternative soup spoon in the, when the alternative soup spoon was really was a cream. I'm just, um, one, two, three, four. Maybe I should just go with the fourth one for now. It's hard to tell. I think I'm gonna go with the fourth one because I think that one, it literally says consomme in it. So I think that would make most sense. Okay. All right, so this one is the oysters. Ponsami is going to be... Hmm, I'm going out on a limb here. I think it's this one. Terrapin is like the little tiny baby fort. And then filet of beef, I think was... Where is it at? Hmm. Uh, oh, it's kind of hard to tell which one's which. This one? And then sorbet is the egg spoon. The egg spoon, the egg spoon. And the egg spoon, let's see, where's my picture? The egg spoon was a little tiny one, I think. And then roast of spring chicken. Roasted spring chicken is seventh, seventh knife. Is this one? And then the cheese is the two spike fork. Yeah, the really weird one. And then vanilla ice cream is the skull shaped spoon. I think it's this one. Sugared oranges is the pointy spoon and then coffee 
is this one? <gasps> no way. We got it right. Okay. Ooh, we did that. So I know also we have to figure out the piano. Oh, I'm gonna have to write that one down too. Super tricky. Oh my goodness, my brain. It feels alive and powerful and on fire. Okay. Tori, you you know the piano? You guys know how to play the piano? Because I will definitely need your skills on this. I do not know. <laughs> E5. B4. C5. Is that a G? G4? Okay. And then what else we got? We got D2. Yup, you know. Oh, we got musicians in the chat, y'all. Sweet. A2. B2. D3. F3. A2. C2. All right, y'all. I think that was... Oh, my bad. I think that was everything. So now we can put it in. After we read this piano book, where's it at? Is it this one? Yeah. As pianos evolved to provide increased ranges for composers, the number of keys on the keyboard varied dramatically. To identify individual notes, numerous notation systems were created, several of which we still use today. One of the most recognized systems in this is the scientific pitch notation. Also referred to as American Standard Pitch, this notation implements a note octave labeling system where the note is shown first and the octave number follows octaves which span from c to b are se sequentially numbered on the keyboard oh okay the lowest c on the piano is therefore labeled c1 while middle c is shown as c4 the keys to the left of c1 are labeled with a zero octave as these keys were presumably added to the piano after the notation was already in use ah the notation can also be used to represent vocal ranges, such as those used in German fact systems. Developed to classify opera singers, each singer is assigned a, f a, f a fact range according to his or her abilities and will perform any roles falling within that range. For example, a coloratura soprano's range would go from C4 to F6, while a low bass would be able to... Oh, that's what the book said, yeah? Mm, what? It was her book. Yeah, first low bass, then coloratura. Oh. <gasps> yeah. What does it say? Et tu, Brute? That's what my brain filled in when you said A2, although, and if you don't know that's a Shakespeare line. <laughs> I, you know what? I do remember doing my, all my research on if this was actual going to be an actual Shakespeare thing, and I remember reading that. Yeah. Okay. It's time for another picture, picture of all the keys. So that way I can like remember it. So basically we need to do the low bass part first. And then this. I'm I'm assuming this must be middle C. C is that C C C D D. Okay. Alright, well. But they want to do low bass first, so we need to do the second lamp. No, the first lamp. So it's D2, which is 2, 3, 2, and then D. D, 2 B2. D3. Mm. Do I have to go over for F3? No. F3. Uh, A2. C2. OK. 
Okay. And then we have to do the other lamp, which is E6. Oh, that's super high. So there's C again. So we've got two and then three. Oh no, that was D3. Oh no. Wait, which one? Which one did I do that was D3? Okay, hold on, let me start over. On the base side, it's going to go down numerically from middle C, C4. So you just did all those in the three range. You need to go in one. Oh, did I really? Okay, let's see. Let me go back. Let me go back. Okay, so there's middle C. So the first one is D2, which should be... There's three, two, three, two. It's right here. Oh, it's right here, right? Oh, there we go. That Yeah, that's more bass, right? That sounds better. D2. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then A2. So if I'm right here, A2 would be at the next one. And then B2. D3, which is... F3, A2, A2, I have to get both of them right at the same time. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought I thought I had messed up on some of the higher notes. I just wasn't sure which ones. Okay, so E6. Right? E6, yeah. Mm, so there's there's middle C and it starts with 4, right? This is C4. So if that's four, more like C, D, E, F, uh, G, A, B. So six should, should somewhere be, so like if there's the two and then the three and the two and then the three, So E6 would be here. This one is your favorite. <laughs> it's so it's a struggle right now because I do not know anything about the keys of the piano. <laughs> At all. E6 is very near the top. Is would it be this one? This is E6. Oh, oh, oh. It's very near the top. That highest E is E on the screen. Oh, okay. This is your favorite Nancy Drew game. Yeah, I love this Nancy Drew game. Don't know if I like this puzzle. <laughs> I'm hovering over B5 right now. Oh. So then this is E is what you're saying. Is that right? This is E6? And then we have to go to A5. So if this is E6. Then A5 would be here. And B5 would be next to it. And then C5, you got to go back a little bit. It's right here. And then E5. 
and then B4. Here. C5. G4. So this one. And then C4. Oh, which is this one? <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> my brain. Man, if I don't leave this and know how to play the piano. Tori, you're a whole like piano boss lady. This is amazing. I was cooking and came back to see Tori basically doing the puzzle for Garner. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, y'all. I don't know. I don't know about the piano. Ooh, my brain hurts. I'm so glad we have talented people though that know how to do it. <laughs> okay, so we did that, and we have. Still have to do that. That's done. Check. Keep my eyes peeled for a way to put the ID I found. Oh, okay, okay. Did that. Haven't done that. That's done. Check. Did that. That's done. Check. That is true, Haven't though. That. You make a good point. Still have to do that. This one does have a lot of like keys, so I bet you're Not able to really play yet. something if you knew how. Man, now I kind of wish I knew That's how. Done. Did that. I'd play you guys something. Haven't done that. Did that. Haven't done that. That's done. And it's a shame too, because I totally, I played piano for a year, but then I gave up. I was like, no, I don't like it. Okay, but I will say, I do remember, Tori, I do kind of remember a little bit. Hold on. Don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me, guys, please. Okay. And that's literally all I remember. I don't even know if that's in the right key. Maybe it's this one. It's the, you know, the Beethoven. That's all I remember. That's all I remember. And one of the uh, best songs that I ever learned on the piano. And even though it only took a year, I mean, I know a little bit of piano. Okay. I know a little bit. This is the song that I know the most, okay? It is a classic. Everyone sings it at holiday season. Everyone should know it. It is um it is Silent Night and I will play it for you guys now. Silent Night. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, <clears throat> back to the game. Ooh! Wow. Is he yucking it up with Kareen? This is an interesting turn of events. No way. Check out the new gal pals. Okay, well, what we gotta have now? Hey, I'm a little busy right now, okay? Because Ooh. of that picture of you and Kareen? There was no picture of me and Kareen. Somebody obviously used a computer and pasted a couple photos together. Oh, so you never hang out with Corrine? So you never hang out with Corrine? Are you kidding? Never! Never, ever, ever! Anyway, I gotta do some damage control, so leave, okay? The sooner I figure out where the pictures used in that composite came from, the sooner I can salvage my reputation. I'll see ya. Tori, that's amazing that you know the keys and everything. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys liked my Silent Night. No, you know what this reminds me of is, you know how like, have you guys ever seen the uh, YouTube videos of Charlie Puth having like perfect pitch and he can like tell you like, I could literally be, I could put a fork in the garbage disposal and it would be like, <laughs> he'd be like, oh yeah, that's a D minor on the fifth part of the piano. I mean like, he's pretty impressive. Now what was I doing? I was trying to figure out who web page under construction. English department announces the paper. Yeah, how do we find uh, the paper thing?
like was it paper source paper ah oh, here we go paper trail yes i love his perfect pitch vids i wish i had perfect pitch i only have relative pitch ah oh, no way everyone's so cool how do you all know all this it's amazing okay so looking at mel's paper i assume we have to like put in these numbers is this right is that what they're wanting? Let's see. Three, oh, four, three, six, two, four. Oh, we have to figure out which one to put in, right? She said none of the numbers repeated. So threes repeat, one repeats, eights repeat, eights repeat. Nine, eight, seven, three, one, seven, ones repeat, one, five, at ones repeat, three, oh, threes repeat. Six, eight, three, two, nine, one. This one doesn't repeat. Maybe it's that one. Six, eight, three, two, nine, point one. And then one, five, eight, six, one, one, eight, seven. The ones repeat, ones repeat, eights repeats. Maybe it's this one. Let's try it. Six, eight, three, point two, nine, point one. Hmm, return data error. Last five combination sequences. Oh, or is this the thing she meant it's not supposed to repeat? Hmm. Oh, we can pick any number? Ooh, this is hard. So if we do 182, we could do 57, 46, 3. Unknown address. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. 1121. Matching text found each instance highlighted and assigned at a portion number by PT. All matching text came from a single source. This paper was plagiarized. Hmm. I don't know if we're supposed to put in a certain number or or how we're supposed to do that. I play by ear, so um, I find the music reading task annoying because I can play and I know the notes, but I can't read music. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. You know, I never thought about that as far as musicians being able to play by ear. It must be frustrating. Like if you don't read, like if you don't know how to read music, but you already know like what you're doing, like you already know how to play. Hmm. I can play the harmonica. <laughs> Not well, but I can, <laughs> I, mean, I can play it. <laughs> no, you no seriously though, I used to know one song on, on the harmonica. And man, I used to play that thing all the time. <laughs> I would rail on the uh, harmonica. <laughs> Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. No, I don't think that she told us that. Nope, you need to plug those digit options in the puzzle into each box in such a way that there are no repeating digits. I think you can plug any of those side numbers to get the puzzle started. Oh, okay. Well, I put this one in. I just wasn't sure which one we had to put in. That's what I wrote down, I think. Yeah, six, eight, three, two, nine point one. I thought we had picked one though that it didn't repeat. I thought we did. What was it? One eight two two six oh two six three. I didn't notice that. Oh, and the six. <laughs> My bad. No, it was five seven, that's what I chose. Yeah, one eight, one, two, three, four, six, five, seven, eight. Last five. None of them repeated one eight two five seven four six three. Is it me? Hmm. Not only did Mel's teacher highlight all the passages in Mel's paper that made it appear she'd plagiarize it, but the teacher also included reference numbers that should ultimately help me find the paper the passages came from. Mm-hmm. 
Or maybe, yeah, I'm sure you're sure that this number's in here. Hmm. So it can't have a six or a nine, so five, seven. But it has to include all the numbers, I guess. I really thought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, but it doesn't have a nine. Oh, maybe they have to have all the digits in there. Yeah. That's what I was just thinking. So if that's the case, then it needs to have a nine in it. Six, nine. But that can't be it because it's, that can't be it either. Maybe it's one, four, nine, two, six, three. So it's one, two, three, four, and then seven. What are we missing? Eight. Hmm. Fifty sevens right here. Wait, no, 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 no. So we have a six and a nine, um, a five and a seven, two, eight, four, three. No, we're still missing one, one, oh, three. Oh, we have to have a zero in there too. One, two, three, four, wait, say zero, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, is that not it? If the date on this <gasps> paper is correct, then whoever posted the paper online did so after Mel turned it in, mm. which proves she didn't copy it. Jacob Price. I wonder if that's the same Jacob Izzy allegedly stole from Leela. You better pop off, Detective Drew. Oh, hey, you know what? We should try... Three Izzy words. Sounds a tad upset. Fake, fake, fake. No, we should call Ned and Bess and see if we can get them. Because I know we were talking earlier to see if that was a thing. Okay, let's see. Let's make some calls. Hello, Ned. Nancy, hi, what's up? All the seniors here get assigned weekly work-study jobs. Guess what mine is? Cleaning erasers. No. Collecting milk money. No. Sharpening <laughs> Snack shop boss. Snack shop boss? I have to stand behind the counter in the rec room and fill kids' snack orders. If I don't do it at least once a day, I get demerits. If I fill a lot of orders in one day, I get credits. You sound excited. I am excited. I like earning credits. I also like listening in on everybody's conversations while I fill their orders. Ah. <laughs> It's true. The I do like to listen to the students in their conversations. A teacher named Rita Hollowell. Oh yeah? What'd she teach? Literature. At least she did, about 150 years ago. Excuse me? She helped found Waverly Academy back in 1866. And do you think she has something to do with notes being sent to students now? Not only did she have a black cat, but it looks like she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. That's interesting. Does anyone else know about this? I'm not sure, but if someone does know and is trying to find out what Hollowell hid, that might explain the notes from the black cat. You know, you're going to have to be real careful what you ask and tell people from now on. Because if someone is trying to find it, and realizes you may be trying to find it too... I'll be careful, Ned. Don't worry. Too late. Get this. There's a group Get of girls this. here that dress up in dark cloaks and meet secretly in the middle of the night. How do you know that? She's like so happy I to tell Ned all the tea. What were you doing awake in the middle of the night? Chasing a squirrel. Chasing a squirrel? <laughs> I had to find its den so I could retrieve something it had stolen. So, you were actually up in the oak tree? Yeah, but it's a long story. So how does this secret society or whatever it is fit in with your investigation? Well, remember that teacher I told you about, Rita Hollowell? She mentioned a chant in this journal of hers that I found. And that's what this group was doing, chanting. 
According to Mel, the group is called the Blackwood Society, and it's been around since the school was founded. Everything about it is so secret that Mel doesn't even know who the other members are. So what does this Blackwood Society do? Nothing. They just get together every so often and chant. Isn't that weird? Nancy, my girlfriend just told me she's been climbing trees <laughs> and chasing squirrels <laughs> in the dead of night. So when it comes to what's weird and what isn't, you're asking the wrong person. I mean, you gotta admit, that was kind of a lot to tell Ned at one time. I'm to wonder if this case has something to do with Edgar Allan Poe somehow. The famous 19th century American writer? I don't know, Nance. Sounds like your imagination may be working overtime. That's always a possibility, but... Guess what book is currently missing from Waverly's library? I give. The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories. I also found this token thing that looks like a little gold beetle. Remind you of anything? Well, Poe did write a story called The Gold Bug. But that could just be a coincidence, Nancy. Mm, now, the if gold you find bug. a little raven or a tiny orangutan... Bingo. You're kidding me. Nope. The tokens seem to have been left behind by that teacher, Rita Hollowell. And since Poe died, what, around 1850, and since Waverly was founded in 1866, some kind of connection between the two is at least possible. Well, if there is a connection between this case and Edgar Allan Poe, you could be in for it. Poe is considered to be one of the greatest mystery writers of all time. The school administration has accused Mel of plagiarizing a paper. So even Waverly girls cheat, huh? Actually, Mel swears up and down she's innocent. You believe her? Yeah, I think I do. She seemed really, really upset. Maybe she's just a good actress. I hope not, because I told her I'd help her try to clear her name. You're getting a little off task, don't you think? Not at all. This gives me an excuse to snoop around. And you can never have too many of those, can you? Guess who got her very own black cat note? You? Yep. Wait a minute. I thought you said only valedictorian candidates got notes. Maybe the black cat just assumes that since I'm on this floor, I'm a candidate too. That could be. Or maybe I'm wrong and the notes have nothing to do with being valedictorian. Or maybe someone knows you're not who you say you are and is telling you to back off. That too, but don't worry. Bad things don't happen unless you get two notes. In that case, let's get something straight. If you get another note, I do not want to know about it. Time to do some more snooping. Stay out of trouble. I'll try, but you know me. Bye. She hangs up. <laughs> All right, let's see if Bess will answer the phone. Hey, welcome back, Mackenzie. Hi, this is Bess. I'm a little busy right now, but leave mm. your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? Hmm. Well, well, well. Let's go talk to Kareen about the picture of her and Izzy. What's up, Rumi? Did you get the text message with a picture of you and Izzy attached? Oh my gosh, was that not too cool? Me just too sitting there cool. chilling with my BFF <laughs> Izzy Romero. How awesome can you get? Any idea who sent it out? Nope. It wasn't me, if that's what you're really asking. Am I angry the whole school thinks we're suddenly best buds? Of course not. Sure, Izzy might feel a little annoyed by all this attention, but if she does? Tough. Welcome to my world, Queenie. I've bugged you enough. See ya. Suit yourself. Hmm. Okay. So where are we at currently? I think we've gotten three of this. Let's talk to Mel. Come on in. How goes it? Was the date on your term paper the date that you turned it in? Yeah. Why? Because the paper you supposedly plagiarized wasn't online until the next day. Someone must have gotten a hold of your paper, copied it, and posted it in an attempt to make you look like a plagiarist. So all the headmistress has to do is check the dates and I'm in the clear. Oh my gosh, Becca, thank you. Thank you. So who posted it? Who tried to frame me? I, uh, I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like Izzy may have been involved. What a surprise. <laughs> hey, I got something a newbie like you might like to read. Has some interesting information about Waverly. Hmm. Thanks. You can keep it. I know everything I want to know about this place. Anything else going on? I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good. Well, let's read it. Waverly Ravens bring home all school Odyssey championship. 
Our own Waverly Ravens swept the competition to win the coveted All-School Odyssey Championship trophy last Saturday at Oxbro Preparatory. The tournament, with topics that run the gamut from literature to science, is the ultimate in academic academic competitions with over 100 schools participating this year. This is the first major academic win for Waverly Academy. The Ravens have finished in second place for the past eight years. We knew this was our year to finally break through and take home the trophy, said history teacher and team coach Miss, Mrs. Sarah O'Donnell. With extra study groups, practice debates, and several mock quiz bowls throughout the fall, the team was prepared to tackle any challenge this year's competition. This year's gold medal team members were seniors Tara Moore, Evelyn Corbalis, and Donna Mingles, and juniors Eleanor Penvalin and Rosemary Ivy. What? No way. So Eleanor Penvalin, everyone, went to Waverly Academy. Evelyn Corbalis, that must be Mel's lineage. Tara Moore, like the author Moore. Donna Mingles. And Rosemary Ivy. Like Mr. Mingles. Donna Mingles. And Jasmine Ivy, I believe, is a character from the Dossier games, which I have never played before, but I would love to. Okay. I think we're pretty far ahead. I think we've got a lot done. Oh, look at that checklist, Jack. Still have to do that. Check, 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 check. Still have to do that. Hmm. Haven't done that. That's done. Oh yeah, we need to Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Snoop her room. Still have to do that. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. How do we get a key to this? That's what I want to know. Hmm. Maybe we should talk to Izzy. I mean, Leela. Hey, what's going on? That's it for now. Okie dokie. Hmm. Or can we talk to Leela about things? How's it going? Apparently, someone named Jacob Price tried to make it look like Mel plagiarized her own paper. You mean Jacob framed her? Yeah, right. Isn't Jacob Price your current boyfriend? Yeah, but don't forget, until very, very recently, Jacob was Leela's boyfriend. You want to point fingers? Maybe you should start with my roommate. <laughs> you want to point fingers? You said that so fast. Oh, okay. I need to get going. Thank you so much for Talk joining Indie time. Crafts. You have a great rest of your day. Okay. Woohoo. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and then what else do we... Oh, yeah, we need to snoop at night, y'all. What time is it? It ain't even close to nighttime, but we definitely going to snoop at night. Here we go. One o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's what Corrine wakes up to. Okay, I don't think... How do you get around? What if I tried to open the snack shop? At one o'clock in the morning. All right, everyone. Snack shop is open. Ooh, so sneaky, sneaky Nancy. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else we can look at. There's some boats over there. Oh yeah, we can return to Oklahoma. Okay, so I'm pretty sure from the Hallowell book, she talks about the parts, but how to tell the two apart from distance. Close observation of the wedge tail. So basically we need to click on the tail, the bill, the ruffles, and long primary feathers. Hmm, all okay, right, let's see. So if we click, I wanna click on that in order. The tail, the bill. 
Hmm, you can't... the rifles? Hmm... I don't think that was it. Hold on, let me take a picture of this too, just so that way I have it. So it's the tail, which is this in part. The bill, which is obviously that part. The ruffles. Oh, that was it. <gasps> oh no, what have I done? Oh, we just blew up the wall. <laughs> I love, I always love that they had this United States puzzle in here. Oh man, I feel like it just proves that like, I don't know where things go. I don't know where, I don't know what states go where. Alabama's there. Arkansas is like right there, but I think we have to have the other state there first. Arizona's there. Mm, Idaho's here. Good old Florida. Mystery of the Seven Keys. We don't know. No, I'm just playing. It's probably going to be somewhere in Europe. Louisiana. That's me. Maine's at the top. Minnesota. Montana. Nevada. And then New Mexico's there. New York here. Mm, Ohio somewhere. Yeah. Oklahoma is like right there somewhere. I think we need Texas first though. Oregon. Yeah, let's put Texas. Oh, Texas is so big. Utah. Arkansas. Missouri's right in front of it. Virginia's like somewhere. And then Wyoming is like right there somewhere. When you guys were learning the states like in school, did you guys ever remember that this looks like a chef with a frying pan of fried chicken? That was how I remembered it. Is that not where that goes? Oh no, Virginia goes over here, doesn't it? Okay, starting back over. Oh yeah, Kansas goes here. Kentucky. There we go. Yep, there's the face. See? It is a chef with a frying pan of fried chicken. Indiana. Illinois. Georgia's like right there. Nebraska's up here somewhere. Michigan. Massachusetts. Hello, Catherine. So good to have you. Yeah, I love the cello too. It's actually super relaxing right now as I solve this puzzle. Um, right here somewhere? Yeah, okay. And then South Carolina. Got it. Where are you guys from in, uh, from these states? Where's your home state? Rhode Island, so tiny. Virginia. Mm -hmm. Colorado. New Jersey. New Hampshire. Vermont. Connecticut. Maryland, and last but not least, Delaware. Oh, snap. Yes, it's the last one. That's Rachel. What's she up to? I should probably find Ooh. out. Ah, oh, upstate New York, that's right. I'm from Montreal, Canada. What? No way. Welcome. 
Upstate New York, but Montreal, Canada. I am from Louisiana. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised, Dory, that I knew where those went because I really didn't think I would know. If I don't find out why Rachel was sneaking around like that now, I may never get another chance. If I don't find out why Rachel was sneaking around like that now, I may never get another chance. Haven't done that. Oh, use the ID again to carefully and quietly break into Rachel's room. Oh. Oh, is that how I get into the other room? Oh, y'all, I did not know. Oh. Oh. I didn't know you could look at her desk. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what I just noticed? Interesting. Rachel has Josiah Crowley's elephant and a stuffed animal from the Secret of the Old Clock game. Connection? Maybe? It's possible. What is this? Oh. Oh, we have to like make it pass through all of the... Ooh. No, I didn't do that right. Looks like I'm not supposed to slide over the places where the lines cross more than once. Oh, well, thank you, Catherine. I sure do appreciate it. That's very kind of you. So maybe, okay, so this, so these are both equally the same. Ah, no, they're not. If you go this way, there's this pathway down here. And then we can go like that. So let's think about this. If we go down, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> oh, snap. Biggest plot twist ever in the Nancy Drew Please games. You mean you both go to school here, but everyone thinks just one of you does? Oh. Including the administration? But we're not hurting anyone. I mean, it's not like anyone else was going to use this room or eat these leftovers. We've been doing this for years, Becca. If we were doing any harm, we would have been found out by now. Our mother's dead, and our father was clueless when it came to raising two girls by himself. We were afraid that unless we somehow went off to boarding school, we'd wind up in foster homes. Oh, so we applied yeah. for scholarships all over the place, but this was the only one we got. So we decided to share it. And we've only got one more semester. Just one. We're so close. Please don't tell, Becca. Please. Wow. This, <laughs> this is, is like, it's just such a good one. Okay, I won't tell. And don't worry. I'm pretty good with secrets. Thank you. I just can't believe I'm the only one who knows. Actually, you're not. Kim! Someone else found out and blackmailed us into leaving those black cat notes for other people. You two are the black cat? No, we just make the notes and deliver them to whomever She's the so real mad. black cat tells us to. <gasps> what are you doing? If she tells they're going to kick us out anyway, Rachel, she may as well know everything. Maybe she'll even help us. So you're Rachel and you're Kim? Right. How does this blackmailer black cat person communicate with you? Email. Each time is from a different address. We have no idea who's sending them. Well, I guess I could kind of, you know, play detective and try to find out who it is. That would be so cool. Then we'd know something that person doesn't want anyone to find out. A stalemate. Yes! In oh, the meantime, so my good. sister needs to finish her dinner and you should go. Nobody cares if one of us isn't around, but if the new girl suddenly disappears... I understand. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I mean, I'll see one of you guys tomorrow. Night. Oh, that was just so stinking good. Oh, man. 
Yes, I completely... First of all, thank you, Catherine and Tori. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yes, but Tori, I, I, I agree so much. Like, this game sets up that storyline so perfect. It, like, it literally could not be any better. I love, love, love that they put all those little tiny breadcrumbs and there's just no way anyone could have guessed that would have happened. It is a genuine and true plot twist in this game and experiencing it is so good. Makes the game so good. Oh, I miss hearing Lonnie's voice too, Jessica. Yes, it, it does definitely has a classic, you know, association to it, so. What's up, Rumi? What's I'll up? Let you get back to your paper. Off to whatever. <laughs> Off to whatever. She has a horse picture. So we actually would get along because we have a horse shirt. So, <laughs> Okay, so basically I need to go into here with this card. Didn't even cross my mind. Oh, snap. Vote for Izzy, student body president. Okay, where are we going to go first? <gasps> this is a book that's missing from the library. If I return it, I'll get credit points. A descent into the the black cat. The murders of the room ward. The ape did it. The raven. The telltale heart. Ooh, the telltale heart. Hmm, the gold bug. So maybe we should write those down. So what do we have? We have... The black cat, which was... Um, 843. Does that mean like the year it came out? Right. Okay, so we got the book. What else can we snoop on? <laughs> the fact that she has this picture. Oh, a key. Jacob, that's her boyfriend. And a cat. Mm-hmm. A dog! That would be the key. Got it. This is the cloak, the leader of the Blackwood Society. And then there's this. And you're just like, what the what? What the what? They just they make the plot twist better and better. Okay, so basically we need to go talk to Izzy. Hey, what's going on? It looks like Mel was framed for plagiarism by someone named Jacob Price. Jacob? You're kidding me. Wow, Izzy's already got him doing her dirty work. That sure didn't take long. Ooh. The thing is, he would have still been dating you when it happened. Like that means anything, <laughs> the two of them have probably been sneaking around behind my back for months. That's it for now. Hit I'm telling on. you, Nancy is a savage. Oh, are we supposed to do snack shop? Attention, everyone. As Let's do of it. now, the snack shop is open. All right, some juice and some pretzels and a cookie. Toasted bread. Order up. Oh my gosh, I love when that happens. <laughs> really <laughs> oh, the talk. It's so funny. Come get your order. Tomatoes and cheese and lettuce. Order up. A milk. Orange. Okay. And chips. Food's ready. Mmm, a cheesy bagel. That sounds so good. There. All done. Wait, what were you saying? It's what I love about Agatha Christie novels and similar. All the clues were the whole time, but you have to finish the story before you realize how it all fits. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Oh, today is the day where it snows more. Whoa, so much snow. I don't want to leave just yet. Oh, so much snow. Oh yeah, I just realized. I haven't finished taking all those pictures yet, have I? Let's see. How's it going? Seeing as you're the leader of the Blackwood Society, I need you to <laughs> oh, tell Nancy. me something. All right, who blab? She has no chill. I, look, that's not important. I just need to hear that chant you guys repeat. Oh, let me word write this down. Word for word. The reason why is very complicated, but I promise you, whatever you tell me, I won't repeat it to anyone ever. What's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. No, I'm sorry. If you don't tell me what I want to know, I'll tell everyone about the society. Maybe I don't care. I'll owe you one. How's that? I'll say it once, and that's all. Three is fine, but five is more. Even nineteen defeats four. Should just seven become lore, at least two will find the door. You owe me big. What does the chant mean? I have no idea. It's been passed down verbatim since the school and the society was founded. That's absolutely all I know about it. Everything is secret. Like that cloak? I got a text telling me to go to a certain spot. And when I did, there was the blue cloak. Along with a note saying I was to choose seven new members and in the spring, a new leader. Everyone takes a vow of secrecy. Everyone thinks if they break it, they'll be cursed or something. You believe that? No harm in hedging your bets. And since you're in on the secret now too, you should probably do the same. Well, now that that conversation's over, forever, what else is going on? Thanks for all the advice. Pop in anytime. Hmm. Okay. Haven't done that. That's done. Let's make sure. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Check. Haven't done that. Check. Oh my Did goodness, that. we've done so much. Check. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Oh, we're check. almost done. Can't check that off yet. Hmm. What did someone text me? Congratulations, you have received five credits. Okay, what did she say? I found the cloak. Hmm. -hmm. What's up, Rumi? I've bugged you enough. See ya. Later. I think the only things that we don't have pictures of are... No, not that. Let's see. We did that. We did that. Oh, I didn't take a picture of the U.S. map. My bad. Totally forgot in my snooping ways. This is no time for a nap. I need to figure out who's been blackmailing the twins. Oh, can I go in there now then? Will I get caught? Oh, okay. I guess I can. Boom. Okay. So now we have all the pictures. I think it's time to go down to the cellar now. Ooh, so much snow. It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Okay. Hmm. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hmm. So the question is, is where do we put what? Hmm. Oh, I should have taken a picture of the book just to make sure. I have like the just the four written down, but maybe the other books have something to do with it too. Let's just double check just to make sure.
How many total is that? Five, 11. Hmm, there's a couple that have 11 twice. Interesting. Two, four. Take a picture, just in case. And also, what does her chant mean? Two, three is, what is it? Three is fine, five is more? What does that mean? It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Okay. Technically, the ape is on four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. This is 441. Mm. The bug is on six. So like five, six. Maybe it's on here. And the cat's on eight, which would be seven, eight. And then the bird is on two. Hmm, that's not right. How does, how do you know which place that they go at though? So it should be, let's see, I think I took a picture of the, of the book. So if it's not that, and if it is 843, 441, it's like those are actual dates, like 1841, 1843. So then you must have to go and order through the whole thing then. So what's the first year that his story came out? 33, 34, 39, 38. So let's see. 33. Oh, by the way. Oh, I totally forgot. I think this is an Easter egg. Isn't it? No? Is it this one? Uh, I, th I really thought that if you put all four, that was an Easter egg. I guess not. Okay, so 33 would be the first year that a book came out. And then 34 was the next one. 38, 39. Were any of, were any of those 38? 39. Wait, hold on one second. Let's see. Let's start it over. So found in a battle was 30, year 33. And then the next item on the list goes from year 33 to year 34. Which is the one in paradise. Then from 34, we go to 38. Ling Linglina. And then we have, we have 39 and year 39. Do we have a year 40 anywhere? 40, 40, 40. No, but we have 41. So we have three that came out in the year 41. And the first one that came out was the ape one, right? Is that what I was reading, the ape? Have you associated each token with its core? Right? Yeah, that's what I was looking at right now. I was trying to count to make sure that I had the right order of the story. So this one is the ape one, which came out in April of 1841. Um, so then we have 
42 is the next year, which is 42. Mm, also another 42. So this one is 43. So that's 143. Another 43. Another 43. So this one should be the black cat here. I think that's right. The black cat should go there. And then... This one. Right? 43, 43. No, no, no. The black cat should go here. Is that right? Hmm. I thought that was right. The ape came out. So the raven should be last, yeah. And... Oh, the bug is before the cat, my bad. Because it came out first. Oh! Oh, ho, 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 we found it! Ah, oh, there's the picture that we needed. This must be the photo of Rita Hollowell and her cat that Rachel was hoping I'd find. I need to take a picture of this so I can upload it to the website along with the other icon photos. Rachel is going to be thrilled. Oh, okay. Okay. I should probably save this as well. Picks for... Rachy, Rachy. Mm hmm. All right, let's do it. Oh, is it this one? No. Library page, student life. Yeah, there we go. I hope that was it. Let's go back and see. <laughs> Just turn right back around and see if there's anything changed. Oh, uh, why away really? Oh, perfect, they were perfect. Okay, those look really good together, I feel like. Let's go talk to her. Oh. What was the deal with all those glass eyes? Nice. Legend of the Crystal Skull. You can come in. How about that? This door's not okay. locked. Hey, you finished the icon pictures. You even found that picture of Hollowell and her cat. Great job. There's just one more thing I need you to do, and then you'll be done with me. Us. What is it? One of my web pages has to include the essay Kareen wrote that won the English department's coveted pen to paper award. So get a copy of it from her and upload it to the site, and that'll be that. Any idea who the real black cat is yet? No, but don't worry, I'm working on it. My sister says I shouldn't get my hopes up, but I can't help it. Would you happen to know anything about the official blueprints of the school that are missing from the library? They're missing? So you've seen them? That's how I knew this room connected to the attic, but mm -hmm. I don't have them and I have no idea who does. Now that I've seen you and your sister together, I'm pretty sure I can tell you apart. That's impossible! We're exactly the same, right down to our handwriting. No one can tell us apart. You're Rachel? You're Rachel, aren't you? You just guessed. Your sister does this hair-tucking thing. You're probably so used to seeing her do it that you have no idea you don't. Thanks for the tip. That test you flunked, what happened? See, my sister attends some classes and I attend others. AP chemistry was one of hers. Ooh, so I'm not good at chemistry. Sick, and to avoid her getting an absence demerit, I went in her place. 
And naturally, that was the day the teacher decided to surprise the class with a test. Mm. Needless to say, I failed miserably. I've got to get back to work. Well, well, well. Okay, so let's go get the copy of uh, the paper from Corrine. What's up, Rumi? For the web page I'm helping Rachel put up, I need to get the essay you wrote that won the pen to paper award. Oh yeah, Rachel mentioned that. I didn't think my paper was that great, but for some reason the entire faculty went totally gaga over it. I'll copy it onto a flash drive for you. But while I do that, could you do me a favor? Sure, I guess. I'm absolutely starving. Uh, since your snack shop boss, more how snack about shop. Me a toasted bagel with cheese, an apple, some juice, and a candy bar. Okay? Soon as you do, I'll give you the essay. You got it. Excellent. Ooh. Guess who just got a second note from the black cat? Mm, you're in for it. You know what I just realized now? Like, if the twins are having to give the notes out and Nancy already knows their secret, then why did they give this other note? Uh, you just got one credit for enhancing the site. Sweet. Black uh -oh. cat has been Izzy now and it happened? is B-A-D bad. Attention everyone. As of now, the snack shop is open. A teacher order. I've got to get this one done fast. I haven't had one of those. If I'm fast enough, I can earn a credit. Too slow, and I'll get a demerit. Oh, and it's all, such a big one. Oh my gosh. No, they don't want it toasted. They just wanted a bagel. Oh, the pressure. Meat, tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, double tomatoes, lettuce, cheese. Oh my gosh. Milk. Apple, chocolate bar, and some nuts. And a chocolate bar. There. All done. Perfect. Oh. Go away, please. <laughs> Yay! You've got my snack. Yep. And oh, now I really want Thank a snack. you. Mmm, that is so good. Here, keep it as long as you want. The essay is the only thing on there. Great, thanks. Anything else? I'll see you in a bit. Later. Mmm, but what if it actually wasn't? And we pop it in, and then all of a sudden we see, like, all of her evidence. Mmm, where does that go? Right here. Oh, this is her, this is her essay. When it comes to Mr. Poe and maybe Miss, or should I say Nurse Hollowell, looks like Corrine's a bit of an expert. Ooh, I wonder if Bess will answer her phone now. Hi, this is Bess. I'm a little busy <sighs> I guess she right just now, never answers her phone. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? Corrine, you here? Guess not. Oh, it's time to snoop. Let's see what you've got over here. Pencils. Super suspicious. Ah, seller. Izzy. Password? Queen B1. Steps to reformatting. Hmm. Queen B one steps to reformatting. Interesting. Still have to do that. That's done. Haven't done that. More bathroom. What was the deal with all those? It is so on? rude, Tori. I would have loved to have known what Bess thought about all the things happening at Waverly. <laughs> she would have been so fun to talk to. Let's go investigate. Let's go see what's up in cellar. 
It's too dark in here. I can't see any. What is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the other side of the wall. Confidential not to be distributed. This is the furnace. Okay. The old set of blueprints shows a tiny room behind the furnace, which isn't on the modern blueprints. Oh. And the modern blueprint includes a drawing of the furnace and a bunch of numbered valves. That has Dupin? to be what three is five and five is more. Before in Hollowell's journal. Dupin? I don't remember saying Dupin. Oh, Dupin. Oh, this tells you the clues, like with a celebratory dinner. That was an elegant nine-course meal served with etiquette. Years come and go, yet the past remains a constant, undimming shadow. And so I have assembled a group and charged it with, albeit unwittingly, protecting and preserving my hidden treasure. Behind the Dupin Gate, the Black Woods chant, chant shall someday reveal what history deemed lost, but only after someone's dogged curiosity and capacity for clear thought have proved that person to be worthy of the honor. So that is that is then what you have to do. You have to use the chant. And she only said it one... I'm taking another picture. She only said it one time. And all I got was three is fine, five is more, 19 defeats four. Is it written down somewhere? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Three is fine, but five is more. Even 19 defeats four. Should just seven become lore? At least two will find the door. Hmm. Well, let's see. Looking at the picture. What if we just have to just, you know, click on those valves maybe? So three. Three is this one. Three is fine. But five is more. This is five. Right? No, this is two. This is five. Nineteen. Hmm. It's hard to tell which one's which. Nineteen defeats four. Um, seven comes lore. Two will find the door. So it must not be that. But I think that's close though. Let's see. So th three. Yeah, so that's three. Three. Five is more. Which would be this red one. Nineteen defeats four. So this was nineteen. Defeats four. Oh, I think I did that one as four. It's, I think it's this one. Because it's the upper one. And then seven. Seven would be this one. And then two. Yes! Ho 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 ho! Fun fact that furnace being named Dupin, I'm sure, is a nod to pose fictional detective August Dupin, who is widely considered to be the first detective in literature. He predates even Sherlock Holmes. Basically, a lot of people credit Poe for writing the first detective story. Really? Wow, I didn't know that. That's a really cool fact, Tori. Ooh, this is it. Should we save? I think we should save. Um, Let's see. The chant. Kareen? <gasps> what are you doing here? Apparently the same thing you are. Looking for the treasure. I never Rita trusted Hollywell you, sister. Did. Is that it? What is it? An old manuscript? 
by Edgar Allan Poe, never published. He told her where it was when he was on his deathbed. When he died, she took it and ran off so Rufus Griswold wouldn't end up with it. At least I think that's what happened. You mm. found all that out while you were researching that paper? When I do research, I do research. Although truth be told, all I knew with relative certainty is that she'd hidden something in this building. I wasn't sure where. Which is why you became the Black Cat. I'm not the Black Cat. I didn't leave those notes. No, you blackmailed someone else into doing that for you. Two someones, actually. You're pretty smart. Mm. The question is, are you smart enough Ooh, to live she's to so tell evil. the tale? I don't think so. Tell the tale. <gasps> Technically, though, couldn't she just, like, crouch down behind that thing? Because the blade can't... The blade... I don't know. I guess I should start the puzzle. <laughs> okay, so isn't this the thing where you have to, like... You pull it, and it takes some of, some of the shapes out, is that right? Can you only use it four times and then it resets? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. That's promising. Hmm. Okay. I got rid of some. Stresses me out because you can hear the blade coming. Nope. Ah, no. I know it's coming. Okay. The good news, you paid attention in your first aid classes. The bad news, no one else did. <gasps> okay. Oh, we're so close to the end. Okay, let's do it. I think when I selected, I think it was one of those. It didn't do much, I don't think. That was it. 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 Oh man. It's time for the end sequence. <laughs> it's like my favorite. No, forget it. You're not going anywhere till you tell me what the heck is going on. Come on, Mel. It's too long a story. I need to go. You just entered my room through the wall. I tell want her, Mel. an explanation. Tell her. I'll explain later. Now let me pass. Stay right there, Mel. You too? What is this? <laughs> well, Kareen, <laughs> it's over. 
<laughs> Poor Mel. She's like, you do? Because all the meticulous research she'd done, Corrine knew Rita Hollowell had hidden something written by Poe somewhere in Ramsey Hall. But oh. without the clues that my investigation eventually uncovered, her only hope of finding it was by searching the entire building. But without the clues that my investigation eventually uncovered, her only hope of finding it was by searching the entire building. And she couldn't do that unless most, if not all, of its occupants spent midterm break elsewhere, leaving their rooms unoccupied. So, she resurrected an old Waverly legend and attempted to frighten her classmates away with notes from the Black Cat, followed by well-timed accidents. And, having stumbled upon Rachel and Kim's secret months before, she blackmailed them into writing and delivering the notes for her, so that, if anything went wrong, they would take the blame. But thanks to me, and to Mel, who wouldn't even let me out of her room until I told her everything, Oh, she's just sitting in the rain. Irene got the blame and was oh, promptly expelled. Bye, girl. Which is kind of too bad. She would no doubt have graduated at the top of her class if her greed, guile, and subconscious desire to retaliate against her classmates hadn't gotten the best of her. But some good did result from all this. For one thing, Megan's parents Aww. dropped their threatened lawsuit and allowed her to return to school. Fully recovered from her allergic reaction, she threw herself into her studies with a vengeance. Now, with Corrine out of the picture, the valedictorian contest has turned into an academic knockdown dragout between Izzy, Leela, Mel, and Megan. Which is a good thing. Not pretty, but good. Anyway, as for Rachel and Kim, Corrine made sure they got expelled, too. But when some of Waverly's more influential alumni heard what had happened, they insisted the twins be unexpelled, and even paid their tuition and board for the rest of the year. Ah, oh, such a good story. They contended that the audacious fraud Rachel and Kim had perpetrated stemmed from their determination to get a good education, and hence should be rewarded, not punished. And you know... I have the feeling Rita Hollowell, and maybe even her idol Mr. Poe, who was pretty darn good at making fiction seem like fact himself, would have very much agreed. Yeah, woo! Oh, okay. Located in the mountain region, which of the following was the first U.S. National Park? Oh, we read this. It was Yellowstone. Yeah. Oh, we only got three. <gasps> oh, man. Keeping the double take high score. Yeah, we just did that once. For your love of book titles. For garnering accolades? Credit. Oh, yeah, we did get a lot of credit. Oh, we didn't get the Easter egg, though. For following up on all the latest rumors. Late Night Explorer for After Hours Sneaking. Master du Duel List for Repeatedly Challenging Leela. For your dedicated piano practice. No, ugh, that piano, y'all. Oh, my gosh. The piano was... It wasn't happening. Keeping your fellow students fed. Shutterbug for your enthusiasm in photography. And the social butterfly for constantly seeing if anyone's home. This is true. I did knock on a lot of doors. I don't know about you, but tornadoes have always fascinated me. Yeah, so tornadoes. So I'm told a team of tornado chasers down in Oklahoma is having strange, sometimes life-threatening problems with its equipment. And I'm asked to join the team so I can try to figure out why. I immediately say yes. But once I arrive in Tornado Alley... I quickly discover that a line of storms severe enough to spawn a record-breaking string of twisters is not my biggest problem. Ooh. I must also survive the diabolical actions of a teammate oh, bent on chills. sabotage. Join me as I learn firsthand which is more dangerous, Mother Nature or Human Nature. In my next adventure, Trail of the Twister. Yeah, that was so good. Yo, those are my photos, yes. Oh, you're winning today's stream. Oh my gosh. It was literally so fun. So fun to solve another mystery, another case with you guys. War Wizards of Waverly Place, I guess you should say. That's the new title of the game is Wizards of Waverly Place. <laughs> but no, it is always, always so fun 
to solve a mystery with you guys. So I um, thank you. Thank you so much for joining. I had such a fun time. And I will, of course, see you for some more future streams, some more Nancy streams. We had a lot of fun. Solved a lot. Made a lot of snacks for people. And hey, also, her interactive posting during the stream. Ah, that was so fun. We got, that was so funny, too. We were literally talking about it. We said, I wonder, I wonder when her interactive is going to post again. And then they did. They literally did as we were talking about it. Word for word, line for line. Uh, loads of fun. Now I got to learn how to play the piano. You're right. You're so right. I'm going to have to learn from you. You you knew all the piano, all the piano keys. Although I will say, I feel like this time that stuck a lot better. And it's probably because you helped me and I was reading your comments. I feel like I can now, I now know the keys of the piano and how they're like broken up and like the octaves. I feel like I learned so much in this one stream. So, so good. Educational Nancy games are the best, the bestest, bestest ever, ever, ever. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, be sure to subscribe to YouTube and you'll get notified when I have more streams or videos coming. So thank you guys so much and I will see you again sometime soon. Bye guys. <laughs>